So I believe that bullying is one of the biggest problems in modern day, just like the world, not even just America, like everywhere bullying is a problem. And now that the internet is as big as it is and everybody has access to it, we get new things like cyberbullying and all of that. Uh -huh. And I just want to come out and say that I'm not part of the problem. Everybody's saying I'm part of the problem, but I'm not part of the problem. I am not a bully. I am not a meanie. I am not a meanie stinky doo-doo head. I am not. I come out categorically against these claims. Okay, two two points on that. Uh-huh. Uh, one, you are mean. You're I'm, incredibly mean. I, You're I'm, a very mean while individual. While Dorothy is gone, I am mean. That is the only circumstance in which case I am not the painted saint of niceness. You're mean whether Dorothy's here, gone, or like literally holding your hand. Uh, two, I am part of the bullying problem. You're part of the bullying I'm, problem. Yeah, I'm okay. mean as hell. <laughs> wow, so it seems as though... What, where's this going? Well, so people are upset with me. Um, <laughs> people people are upset with me currently. Um, Who'd you bully? Just, well, I mean, there's this just also like... also not the first time. There's so many terminal children, and I'm like, everyone's too... No, no, obviously not. That's not the situation. Everyone is mad at me, or at least a couple people are mad at me, because I bullied you into oh, me? saying... Into, into saying You're that specifically mean specifically to me. Specifically you. Yeah. yeah. But you suck. Let's not sit like, here and act like, let's not sit here and act like we're just like saints to each other. That's what friends do. Uh huh. Yeah. How many times have I done any of that to you? Oh, oh, I don't How know. How many the times have I been in trouble for being me? I feel like I'm getting deja vu right now. I feel like you're constantly like everyone's mad at me for being mean to Danny. Maybe I'm just more sensitive. Maybe you you're the problem. Maybe maybe you don't get up in the comments like I do. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on the streets. I'm a street reporter. Yeah. I have my microphone yeah. out. I'm letting you're people like Nardwar. Know. Absolutely. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. Apparently, I'm the problem. That's my... <laughs> Chill out. Don't fucking point laugh at me oh, oh, while saying you're not oh, mean. Oh, oh, so, because every just time... just fucking, like, a high school bullied me right every now. Every single time I spew <laughs> water in my, in my circus act, you have to point it out, even though this is an audio <laughs> medium. Meanwhile, you're drinking water out of a bowl with a hole in it, you and you spill water all over my desk. You want to know why I spilled? I drank out of the wrong side, so there's a hole yep. just below where my lips go. So, that so before getting to my lips... It has to go through this hole. That could hypothetically be the right hole. As long as you just this like. the wrong one. Well, no, you just got to suction your lips so. to that hole and just suck it through there. God, you are lithe. You are so full of life. You, okay, so for those, a little a little behind the scenes uh, for those of you who aren't members and haven't been watching me and Danny like struggle to make a podcast for the last 20 minutes. Uh, Danny got here four hours ago. Mm -hmm. um, probably the fastest he ever gotten here, honestly. Early for once. Yeah, it was like, yeah. and uh, we were like, all right, we're going to fix our audio. And, you, and you're probably hearing it right now. It probably sounds at least a little bit better because look, we're a podcast. We should probably take, oh, I don't know, audio seriously. Yeah. So for the last four hours, uh, we've been on uh, a call with Rode. We've been uh, learning Adobe Premiere and Adobe, uh, what is it? Audition, audition uh, yeah. and we've just for four hours been toiling away in this goddamn <laughs> office and we we figured it out yeah. we did it we're two smart bright sexy individuals who managed to, to manage to pull it out of our asses but uh so we were we've been sitting around being like i i do even want to make a podcast today but you know what we my we answer is no well yeah exactly yeah. I also, real quick, if we can backtrack on the bullying bit, uh -huh. it's always funny because whenever you ever like play a video game or like get into a new game or something, and mm -hmm. it's always like the community is so great, like the it's it's so nice or whatever. I genuinely, I've never I've never heard anybody be like this video game community. Really, they care. I no. can rattle off a ton. What video game community are like holistic? Final Fantasy fourteen, uh, the Deep Rock Galactic, the minor one. There's tons of there's tons I, of video game communities I've heard of where like one of those games where the selling point is like the community is good or here we go we'll I'll use L A driving as an example you well, ever hear whenever people are like this is gonna this is gonna resonate with so many of the three people who live in L A that listen to this podcast you ever hear people who like when they say something like oh this video game community is so nice or like you know L A driving's not that bad mm. I always am like. This video game community is not nice by virtue of I'm now in it. Exactly. And I feel the same with LA driving. I yeah. feel the same with LA driving when people are like, it's not that bad. And I'm like, it is now. Yeah. I live here. Y like, you are a horrible driver. A hundred percent. Terrifying. But that's how I feel about like bullying. Like every video game community is toxic. <laughs> it's, it's worse. Because I, because exactly. I am in it. <laughs> okay. So I, I just like, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Like I'm not. I'm not like a like an overt bully. I don't think you are either. Yeah. But you know, 
We shoot the shit. Mom. We're friends. I think people need to realize we're very close friends. <laughs> yeah. We make fun of each other. Uh -huh. And everyone's like, I think Nick, I think Nick is unforgivable for bullying Danny into DMing Toph to add her on our podcast. You know? I agree. I 100%. Here's the thing about Nick. Here's a little this thing. Happened today. Hurts nobody. This Good happened for the economy. Not true. <laughs> Horribly. You're great for the economy. I'll say Hell that. Yeah, I am. You came out of COVID just like, here's the money. Exactly. Um, I have two full time employees. Yeah. But, uh, I, every time I come here, and this happened today too, before we start up, you're like, here's a game we're going to play. And I always know about the game. Uh, but then you go, here are the stakes. All of this gets discussed in a Discord you have access to and in our group text messages. <laughs> Not true. Absolutely you're true. Always like, you're always like, here's the game. And then you're like, by the way, the stakes are um, you have to like dip your balls in uh, fondue. I will admit. For a week. Oh, like, oh, for a oh <laughs> like, That's your fucking. Is it like a continuous or is <laughs> yeah. it like once a day you're just like, once oh, a day, the, one, keep yeah, the fondue one, up. Once a day, I take my penicillin for the strep throat I'm still uh -huh. getting over. And, you're uh, still doing that? You have to for 10 days. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and then I just dip my balls in, in fondue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can also just get a shot in the ass. I'd rather not. The last time I think I got strep or gonorrhea or whatever you have to cure with, with penicillin. Um, I think it was strep because I've never had an STD. So probably strep. Yeah. But you can also just do instead of the 10 days of like like taking pills, you can just do a shot in the ass. I'll just take the pills. It hurts so bad. I, it was, I, I, was, like, I was like, yeah, I'll get, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, I'll get done with this immediately. I couldn't sit for two days. <laughs> I like I like how there's no, like, yeah, you could take pills for 10 days, but, you know, like, it's easy, but it takes 10 days. Exactly. And then, and then there's no, like, you get a shot in the ass, but... Like, there's no but. No. It's like, you get a shot in the ass, and it kills. It, it like, there's no the positive The most painful shot of my entire life. They're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, so it funny. doesn't hurt in the ass. And I was well, like, I, God knows I've heard that before. That's so funny. And it did a lot. Well, Do that, not recommend it. That's like rabies, where they're like, yeah, you can either, like, have rabies or get, like, eight shots for ten days. You can get over rabies? I thought if you got rabies, it was, like, GG's. I think if you get bit, there's a window. Like, gotcha. There's a golden hour yeah, and a half yeah, yeah, for yeah. rabies. For but you get like six shots for a week. Damn. Yeah, it's vicious. My, I mean, it's better my than girlfriend being like... got rabies shots. There was a bat in her room, and there's oh, a bat you, in your room. But she can get like bit. You don't know. You Are never you know. Me Sarah was rabid. Yeah, you never know. Oh, she's would, rabid. All right. I would love to see that little frame just be like. <laughs> She would be terrifying. Because <laughs> yeah. that's a fun part about like the zombie apocalypse is you're like, oh, like in the zombie and yeah. all the movies and the shows, all the zombies are like six foot. But there's gotta be baby zombies. There's gotta be baby zombies, yeah. A. And there's gotta be like, you know, like your shortest friend, like yeah. your tiniest little five foot friend. Yeah. You can just fucking roundhouse like you're in Dying Light 2. Do you ever play Dead Space 2? Yes. There's yeah. child and baby zombies. Yeah. So yeah. in also in the forest, there's like little baby, there's like little baby like mutants, oh, but yeah? they just like tumble through the air nice. at you. They're terrifying. That's it's right. hilarious. Uh so yeah, that's the cold open. Uh I'm a good person. Please tell me I'm a good person. I need your validation. Please tell him tell him when he earns it. Please, God. One day you're gonna one... come in and do something like genuinely nice. Like I'm gonna be like, all right, that's the show, everyone. I'm gonna trip and you'll catch me. <laughs> and I'll be like, and I'll be like, thanks. And you'll be like, like, that's just what friends are for. That's and you'll be like, oh, we're recording. And that's when you'll get it. See, character is what you do when the cameras are off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, or in the military. Uh, or, <laughs> yes, that that helps as well. So I'm Nick, also known as NC Hammer 23. Yeah. Um, I hope I sound better today. Uh, we, Like I said, we've been we've been toiling away here, doing our little our little damnedest. There's an AI that now edits damnedest. podcasts. Yeah, there's an AI that edits podcasts now. We're going to try that out. So, See how that goes. So who knows? Maybe maybe you'll have one full-time employee. No, we're kidding. Absolutely. Stank sticks around forever. We love him. <laughs> Daniel, who are you? Um, I'm Danny, otherwise known as the victim of this podcast. Um, the, and the fool. The fool. I think the you're, town fool. You're the one who said that. You're like, I am the town fool yeah, of I this podcast. Yeah, I 100% am yeah. the like court jester of this podcast. I come on. That. I scamper on in with my hairy arms. I go, ooh, hoo, hee, hee. I'm the dandy. And then when you get unfunny, we kill you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the, second, the second a joke doesn't be, land, we're like death I immediately. I was going to say, I'm going to tell a joke. I'm just going to be like, and that's when I said, turtle soup. I thought that was my wife. And you're not going to say anything. I'm going to be like, <laughs> Please, chat, please. It's just, you see chat, chat, we give chat like a couple of like, um, we give him a thumb down, a thumb middle, <laughs> yeah, like, and a thumb up emoji. <laughs> I think that should be part of the, the benefits. It's like, we, you know how like whenever we inevitably get in an argument that neither of us can settle and we're like, we'll make a poll. And yeah. make sure Danny fucking die. <laughs> we'll make a poll. 
<laughs> now, on next week's episode of Talk is Anonymous, live execution. You know what it's like to have a friend that you know can afford to kill you? You're not gonna, <laughs> nothing's much, gonna happen to you. Spitballing, how much does it take to kill a person? Like, I think 10 grand. No way. I think like a nobody person. <laughs> Like myself. What's a no- <laughs> like myself. One of these fucking plebs who like, listens yeah. to the podcast. Like a fucking nobody, nothing Joe Schmo yeah. like myself. Ten grand. I oh, I, I think that's I, low. I think I'm probably a little more just by virtue of like I'll have people being like, what happened to Danny? Like, yeah. the, like, like, I feel like I've heard things about like every hitman on the internet is just the, the FBI, mm-hmm. you know? So like, it's never like, it's never actually a hitman. It's always just like a deep undercover, like CIA agent, yeah. like trying to catch people. But 10 K feels low. I mean, I'm sure there's people who would murder for 10 K. I maybe it's a hundred K. I, I think it's like in the, this might speak to yeah. me, but like, I'm not getting out of bed for less than three mil. I'm not like, well, you're over here hiring a bougie ass assassin. Yeah, well, I just need like a cokehead with a shiv. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I'm, saying, I'm saying I don't go to kill somebody yeah. for less than three mil. I feel that. I guess it depends. You can't on, pay somebody three million. To, I'll, I'll, I'll bury you myself. Yeah. If if someone came up to me literally right now with my current skill sets, mm-hmm. if Dorothy opened the door, put uh, a briefcase of like Yu-Gi-Oh cards down like Seto Kaiba and was yeah. like, kill Nick. I'd be over this desk in an instant. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I'm the bully. Live death threats, ladies and I gentlemen. I just like money. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh yeah, because they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, I'll resell these I at ten dollars a pop. Well, it was gonna be a briefcase of money, and then mm-hmm. I was like, we should talk about anime. We should at talk some about point. anime. Yeah. Actually, we shouldn't talk about anime. You know no. what we should talk about? What? Destroying Harry Potter. Oh yeah. Because that is the single singular purpose of uh, what is it? Mashal magic and muscles. Okay. Because oh thank God. I was like, what side of history is this episode? Have about you Eon? seen <laughs> the, like how far into Mashal are you currently? I'm not. You're not no. at all. I like it doesn't appeal to me that much. No, that's actually that's actually perfect. Oh, because nice. I'm gonna explain to you why it uh, sucks. No, no, very good, very oh, fun. Nice. I'm gonna explain to you a little thing. Like I want you, like, I'm gonna give you some plot points from like Mashal. And you're going to tell me whether or not that sounds like it is directly pulled from Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the main character, you know, he works out. Obviously, that's not like Harry. Harry is a Nepo baby who right. peaks in high school and yeah. becomes a cop. Um, so there is the first couple of episodes. You're introduced to a character. Blonde hair. Okay. Um, evil. His father is well connected amongst like the wizarding bureau, like the wizard police. Can I answer or should I let you continue? Um, there's a little bit more. Okay. Um, so blonde hair, connected father, yeah. um, like incredibly powerful, like it like like is in like basically in the school and like in his contact with the vice principal, can do whatever he wants because right. he's untouchable. Right. Uh and wears a green scarf. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. That's Who, Ron, if I've ever heard that of him. That does sound like yeah, Ron. That's, right? that, I can't Rich believe they ripped family. off Ron. Exactly. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, so like word like bar for bar, Draco yeah. Malfoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh and the uh headmaster, long white beard, long white hair. Uh well, that's in- your classic wizard. Well, though. fair. Yeah. Uh, incredibly powerful wizard, uh, but like also acts as the barrier between the wizarding world and the school. And the wizarding uh-huh. world like world is evil and corporate. But right. he, you know, good guy who protects specifically MASH. Yeah, right. Sound like anybody? That's a... Uh- I said like Grumbledore, <laughs> Dumbledore. Oh yeah, Grum- Grumbledore. Grumbledore yeah, is the Grumple Stiltskin. No, right? Grumbledore is the headmaster of a much cheaper <laughs> wizarding school. He's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, you You're gotta, like... you gotta levy. You come here, come levy my son. Yeah, you come know? levy my Osa. I'll teach you how to ride a broom if you <laughs> know what I mean. Christ. That's Grumbledore. You, you know what always bothered me about Harry Potter? And tell me if this is the case in Mashal. Oh. this fucking boarding school just uh, in the middle of england is like the epicenter of like world war three yeah, yeah like of wizard world war three mm-hmm. why is like is that like that in Mashal? like that's what i always hate and it's i mean like i'm that- four episodes in they haven't gotten into like the the unnamed yeah, one is here yet you know? honestly that's kind of the case in like every high school shonen where oh, it's yeah. like Konoha High or whatever that academy oh, yeah. is. I remember the high school arc <laughs> yeah. in Naruto, of Go, course. Whatever, wherever they go to get their exams. Oh, uh, that would be the Shinobi Academy. Yeah, the Shinobi Academy. When but there's seven? But there's no, like, the shit's not happening in, like, the fucking hidden mist village, you know what I mean? What do you mean? I don't know. It's called the Blood Mist Village. 
Yeah. There's the, the, the Shinobi Academy in the Hidden Mist Village for for decades. You had to kill each other. I guess that's I, why Zabuza was the demon of the mist. He killed a hundred people. I guess Orochimaru isn't like Ninja Hitler. I should rephrase. Orochimaru like, isn't Ninja. Who would be Ninja Hitler? I don't know. I don't know anything about pain, Donzo. right? Pain. You know, it's Danto. Is it Danto? It's, it's 1,000% yeah. Danto. Yeah, absolutely. I, People are going to say, it's Toby Rama. Toby Rama was an incredible person. <laughs> Get off him. My, um, a better example is uh -huh. my hero, right? Because my hero is like just this random ass school. Oh, well, yes. It's a good school. It's the Harvard of Hero Academies in Japan. Yeah, it's a good school. It's the Harvard of Hero Academies in the east of Japan. Right, but West. all the world-ending shit the is east. happening around uh, UA. You know yeah. what I mean? That's like the silliest bit of all school You know what would be kind of nice? Stuff. Just like going to like a Hero Academy in Hokkaido and just being yeah. like, wow, <laughs> I got rejected from there. Thank fuck. Yeah. Like it's now like, it's like the place where like all of the like, uh, what when you get displaced and you're no longer- Waitlist? Nope, you're displaced and you're a refugee. It's where all like the refugees <laughs> of Tokyo are currently yeah. at. And it's like an active war zone in the manga. Like Shigaraki's like decaying shit everywhere. Yeah, Jesus. I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, I'll, I'll go take, like I'll go yeah. to like, I don't know, the yeah, I'll go to, State University I'll, yeah, of I'll go Hero to, Academies. I'll go to DeVry University. Absolutely, like, yeah. I'll, I'll go hang out like with the other like who people who are going to be sidekicks yeah. in a couple of years. I want to follow someone who's doing educationconnection.com for, <laughs> for like my for, hero. For, yeah, yeah, for my hero. They're just like, are you, do you have like Windex face? Yeah. Because I got, <laughs> yeah, I got a college for you. Do you remember those ads? Like DeVry University was so funny. This may have been an East Coast thing. Uh -huh. No, there, it is. It's definitely, so it's uh, SNHU, uh -huh. Southern New Hampshire University, yeah. DeVry. Yeah, DeVry was so funny because their ads were like, like here at DeVry University, we're building an elite team of cyber warriors. And yeah. it's like someone like just, 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 just coding. Yeah, yeah. Just like, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I, I did it. That was just yeah. like hacking in the early 2000s. Oh, yeah. They were just like typed for a little bit and they're like, I'm in. Yeah. Into what? Yeah. What fuck are you into? Yeah. So back to, back to Mashal. Um, so it's got Dumbledore. Mm -hmm. It's got Draco Malfoy. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a broom sport. You fly around right. on a broom. Uh, it's in, like an oval. Yeah. Uh, and there's a goal. Right. And the goal is a circle. Okay. And you got to take a ball while on the broom and you got to throw it through the through the circular Whoa, goal. That's so, and insane. dorms, uh the dorms of the school compete against each other. Right. So does that sound like anything? That's nuts. It's that's lacrosse. soccer to a yeah, team. Exactly. Yeah, 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 there we go. Nice. It's the fastest sport yeah. on two feet. Yeah, that's lacrosse. blue lock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, like like Isagi was out there just like ripping people apart. Yeah. Uh so Quidditch exists. And I think I think that's I think that's all of it. And it's gotten to the point though where I'm like, could JK Rowling sue? I mean, JK, if if JK Rowling can sue mm -hmm. something, you better believe she has sued. That's fair. In in Ithaca, New York, they had like a wizarding like weekend or whatever that was like the whole little town commons would just put on this wizarding weekend and whatever. Sounds J cute and like holistic. Yeah, it was like yeah. so fun. Uh, J.K. Rowling like sued it into fucking oblivion. She <laughs> like, was just like, I invented yeah, the word wizard. Yeah, where now it's like just a ruined landscape. <laughs> like all the like all the shops are gone. No that's not, way. That's not all true. But she sued it like so hard. Wait, wait. So it was like a permanent thing, not like a weekly, like like one no, week it, in December. It was like one too. week a year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she just like annihilated it. Jesus like God. the town lost so Actual much money. Actual billionaire too. Yeah. Like like. Definitely doesn't need the bread. So, like, my thing is, like, how different does the anime of your basically book need to be that it's, like, this is our own IP? I think it's pretty easy to get around, like, I don't know, because it's, like, every idea is kind of something else. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I think you can, like, you know, my hero didn't have any issue with Naruto, even though it's essentially Naruto in the earlier things. Like, or, like, every... Every, so many anime or like a high school anime of super powered people and no one's coming at them like I guess like you know you don't see black clover coming and being like naruto you fuckers yeah, like, you, yeah. you took it from us i had yeah. the idea before you even started yeah. writing it i mean i guess that's fair but like you literally could just like put a picture like i'd be like your honor just like look at the photos just look at the goddamn yeah. photo like look at that's draco malfoy and then his name was like lucius or something yeah. or leon or something like that and they are like identical yeah. but at the same time i think so like we're trying to make merch right now and basically the only thing that's like copyrightable is like character form yeah so like as long as you don't put kakashi on a t-shirt you can put like lightning or something you can put like a kunai yeah like yeah. as long as it's not like a character or a name mm -hmm. you're chilling yeah but like i just like there's got to be like 
is there not like a fair use contract? Like, I listen, I do not want JK. I want her to sue and fail. I want her to get countersued. <laughs> Fuck yeah. JK Rowling. But like, still, I like watch it. And I'm like, that's the reason I'm like kind of riding for Mashal currently. Cause I'm like, every fucking dollar this takes like out of her the pocket. Underdog, like, the, <laughs> well, the thing is, like, every dollar yeah. that this takes out of JK Rowling's pocket. I'm stoked. Yeah, because yeah. like, they're making that whole remake thing where they're just like, yeah, on it's, HBO. It's Max. just the same shit. It's the same thing, but longer. Yeah, it's like, yeah. now it's like seven seasons of yeah. HBO Max bullshit. Um, and I'm like, every person that's like, you know what? I'm gonna watch anime instead. That's that's a win in my book. Have you seen the like? Because the like CEO of HBO Max has been interviewed, and they're like, or like less interviewed, more cornered at an event. Gotcha. And they're that. like. You it, no, you know what? Hell yeah! <laughs> well, Hell they're yeah. like, let's scare these. Listen, <laughs> fucking, you should scare the rich. Get, <laughs> fucking, get up on them. Do well, it absolutely. Well, they were like, you know, some interviewer was like, "How do you feel about the controversy?" And like, why are you doing this Harry Potter like uh, series like with all the controversy and stuff Money. like that? His response was so just like, oh, well, the thing is, I simply don't care. Yeah. Like he was like, this is a very internet conversation. And uh, then just like walked away and probably like put his cigarette in their coat pocket like, and like nailed yeah. that one. Yeah, like, yeah. He's like, oh, the internet, that won't be around yeah. in a year. That's yeah. fine. It's like, oh, you mean the place that like 99% of conversations go? Yeah, it was very funny. He's very snooty. He's like, he like, quote unquote, was like, uh, we have been in the Harry Potter business for a very long time, and we are very comfortable in that business. Yeah. And it was like, whoa. Yeah. He's like, whoa, big like, money. He's like, <laughs> all these people who haven't developed a personality in the last 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to milk them for all they're worth. Yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely. So, I mean, listen, fucking go watch it. But every person, listen, if you're looking for a better option to Harry Potter that isn't written by a transphobe, Mashal, Magic and Muscles. It's incredible. And yeah. I've heard the manga is also peak. Yeah. Also, Mash. Much better. I think his name is Mash. I think it is. His name Mash or Mash. Whatever gives a shit. It's probably not old. Oh, I doubt, <laughs> I doubt it's old, but yeah. it would be kind of sick if it, it was. It'd be cool if there was Mash and all, you know, and there was like back to back in like, yeah. like die hard like buddy cops. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but no, he's also just like not a Nepo baby. Yeah. You know, he just he's just swole. Yeah, like he, he's just yeah, Harry he Squatter. is just strong. And there was I mean, I posted a video about it. I got so many funny. It was like Harry Squatter. Nice. Um, That's great. There was it was just like so many like incredible like like. Just yeah. stuff that you like are proficient in. Yeah, Carrie Potter. Carrie Potter. Oh, yeah. I see what you did yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, so outside of that, uh, I also wanted to talk about oh, oh. I wrote a lot in my notes about Mashal. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Speaking, we we can so move on from Mashal. No, though. we absolutely can. Okay. You do need to watch it though. Okay, I'll watch it. I mean, are you I gonna... watch I watched Heavenly Delusion for you for <gasps> this week. Did you? Yeah, I did. What episode are you on? One. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> I watched the first. Okay. But... Is that all that's dubbed? Thus far, no, or? it's not dubbed. Okay, I'm, so you do it in sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I you just are watched going, it for me too. You're gonna be lost. Oh well, yeah. It is oh, like so. We're at, I think we're four, maybe three episodes yeah. in right now, and every episode it gets more confusing. Really? Yeah. So we were both doing our our pre podcast scramble that we do every single episode where we're like, uh, do we have yeah. news? Uh, and no. <laughs> yeah, usually no yeah. until like we have to scramble for it. Uh, we got to the point and we we we're, we're scrolling through Anime News Network. Shout out to them. I mean, honestly, they they could own half of this podcast and we probably wouldn't complain because yeah. they're where we get all of our news. Um, but one of the things was just like, what is going on in Heavenly Delusion? <laughs> like, it's just like an article, like I guess trying to explain what's yeah. happening. And it's going to be the neon genesis of, of this generation. Interesting. Oh, wait, before we move on from Mashal. Oh, yeah. So remember we were talking about how, like, what anime is going to be replaced? Yeah, 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 So what we're looking at, and we're like, oh, like, what's going to replace MHA? Like, yeah. how are we ever going to get to, like, an MHA replacement? It's Mashal. You it's were Mashal. You were so hyperbolic within the first two episodes of an anime, Well, Aaron. I'm not saying, I'm not saying There's Mashal. no way Mashal gets above, like, Food Wars acclaim. I'm not, I don't know. Like, so Mashal's <laughs> been one of the bigger mangas on Shonen Jump for, like, two or three years. Mm. Like, it's been incredibly popular. Yeah. Uh, and, like, what, like, so we're talking about, like, filling out the trope, right? Like, the super-powered high school trope. We're like, yeah. there's nothing out there that's starting right now that's going to be able to fill the void that MHA has. Yeah. Mashal. It's a super powered high school. It's I, incredibly popular. I guess so. I don't know. I read, like I said, I read the first few chapters and it was like one of those things where I was like, this feels a very like mid obscure anime, like not, not like real obscure, but like, like a black clover, like black clover is not obscure, but it's, it's like not a my hero. No, you know I know exactly. I, mean? I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. It's like the the like it's gonna run for 200 episodes. Yeah, but it's not but JJK. Yeah, but like you know, 
you have to dig to find someone else who was watching it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is, yeah, you have, you certainly have to look harder than like with your Naruto's or your bleaches. Yeah. And those, honestly, the mid obscurity, long length anime, I think, are the greatest anime out. Give me examples. I feel like Hunter Hunter, probably that. Well, you love Hunter Hunter. Well, yeah. I don't. You don't yeah. You yeah don't, oh, what? 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 You, you don't vocalize say. it for our. I'm not gonna vocalize. Vocalize it, it no. for everyone listening with their bingo card. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? It's obvious that I like Hunter Hunter because I talk about it a lot. That's yeah, why. that's why. That's why. Yeah. yeah you really. don't want to tell them about your little wiggle you just did. Oh, oh. The, you mean the? You mean this right here? <laughs> This very expensive wiggle. It's my tattoos. Yeah. I have a whole sleeve dedicated to Hunter is. Hunter. But Hunter Hunter is like mid-level obscurity. I would yeah, say. I, that's fair. I agree. And like, it's like, so Black Clover, Hunter Hunter, yep. Gintama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gintama's, I'd say, below both of those two. Gintama's even. definitely, well, it's kind of a, it's like a, it's like a year thing, you know? Like, I would say, I, honestly, I would say um, Helsing, Helsing Ultimate. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, that's only... No, Bob Psycho. Helsing Ultimate has such a small but rabid fan base. It's because of the abridged. It's because of the, the, the that's why I know it. The abridged is very good. It's so funny. It's objectively better than yeah. the like it's objectively better than the actual anime. I know. I miss when they were doing abridges. And I understand why they stopped, because that's gotta be a copyright nightmare. Yeah, and also just so much work. Yeah, tons and tons of work. I wonder. Team Four Star probably makes no money off those anymore. Like they probably Pro got they probably got Probably out. not. That's probably why they stopped. You can't really monetize it. You can't, like, and it's just like thousands, yeah. if not hundreds of thousand dollars for voice work. Yeah. editing all that oh now my they God. do a podcast like a bunch of cowards yeah i mean like listen we don't need more podcasts in the world yeah. fucking figure it out uh so yeah i would say like mob psycho black clover hunter hunter that's yeah. like your niche right there yeah. maybe even like I, that's the thing is trygun's 20 what 24 episodes so now it's not long enough trygun is nowhere even near that it's like it's like naruto bleach dragon ball one piece on one rung this is like our the, this is our like verbal it's tier, the list. tier list yeah you got that next tier list b not quality the letters yeah. aren't quality it's obscurity yeah, it's b -tier, like, like fans yeah b tier is what you just one said one punch man well here's the thing i'd say i'd say one punch man and um mob psycho are both i'd say it's one punch man mob psycho black clover what was the others he hunter, said? hunter 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 Jin Tama like two rungs under that you so so s tier is dbz naruto yeah, yeah, yeah. bleach one piece mha yeah jjk demon slayer a tier is hunter hunter i would say hunter hunter black clover uh and honestly i think they should one like, punch man deserves to be in a, that, a tier say. okay yeah, so yeah. yeah one punch man would be a tier and then like B tier is like Mob Psycho. Mm. Um, you don't think Gintama? Gintama's like C tier, definitely I, in fans. Yeah, yeah. like three hundred episodes. So low, three hundred yeah. episodes. Yeah, but so does like Detective Conan. Detective Conan's got a trillion Thousand, episodes. Thousands of episodes. Trillions it's also episodes. way more popular in Japan. Well, exactly. But yeah. I mean, you know, we're fuck, who cares about other countries? Yeah, fucking Japan. Yeah. They don't even have a big market for this yeah, shit. Exactly. It's like uh, Detective Conan and Doraemon are like massively popular yeah. there. It's absolutely insane. And that's our unofficial tier list, ladies and gentlemen. You you're welcome. You, every time we finish a bloop, you're just like, and that's the end of it. We don't even remember if that was the end of it. I know. Well, okay. If so that even works <sighs> in the edit. Yeah, it's fine. Stank will figure it out. Stank's a genius in editing. Yeah, I'm sorry. We, we still have a, a camera. Sure, we spent four hours figuring out of audio, but we still have a camera. We have to bloop every half an hour. Uh, to figure everything out. And so we have a long standing joke with all the people who watch the podcast of Bloop. And that's probably going to be one of the first things we ever put on a t shirt is Bloop. Honestly, that's genius. Just Bloop. Just it wraps all the way. It's like P Bloop all the way around. <laughs> yeah. Or just I like Bloop. It. I just like Bloop across the chest. I like it. Like, period. Just Bloop across the chest, you, baby. I bet you there's people in the chat right now who would wear a Bloop t shirt and everyone be like, what does that mean? And you'd be like, well, you'll never know. Yeah. You'll never know. Okay. Cool. Speaking of anime fandoms, uh, this is actually a really, really good segue. Uh, I recently got into a little bit of a debacle. Um, and not really a debacle. I just I just like to... Uh, occasionally, there's so much negativity in the anime fandom space. Occasionally, I use my, my massive voice uh -huh. to shame people publicly. Every segment we've done today uh -huh. has started with me being incredibly nervous uh -huh. about what cancelable thing is about to come out listen, of your mouth. Listen, You start... Let me just real quick recap. Let me get first, ahead of it. First thing, no. Listen. First thing... No. First I don't thing, think she was that no. drunk. <laughs> first, thing, first thing you say was, uh, 
Now, people will keep calling me a bully, and I'm mm. like, oh, God, who, what fucking, like, 300 subscriber, like, YouTube <laughs> channel did you just demolish? That went fine. Then you're like, Danny, now let's talk about J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter. Yeah. I'm like, fuck me. All right, here we go. Absolutely, we're sticking it. Now you're like back to the first segment where you're like, now, you know, I'm in a bit of a tiff. Uh -huh. Let's see where this goes. Okay, so it, 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 in, like, in the same fashion of the other two, it's nothing that serious. Uh, it's just like, you ever realize that like amongst people who enjoy fictional content, be it anime, magazines, that's what you call comics, magazines, uh, comics, movies, anything. There's yeah. always going to be people who in like- that, In that order. Exactly. Anime, magazines, magazines yeah. movies, comics. Uh, I like uh, Calabasas Living, yeah. um, Home Decor. Yeah. yeah and uh, the one, oh God, what's her name? Uh, she's like very Christian. Oh, Never boy. mind. We're not gonna we're not gonna go over it. Uh -huh. uh, so every in every like fictional fan base, there's always people who see somebody enjoying something and they're like, "Yo, oh yeah, it's mid." Oh yeah, and it's like big demon slayer energy. What? But like, why? Yeah. Like I just so uh, this was the thing I was talking. I was excited about chapter eighty of uh, Borto. I was like talking about the the leaks. This was a while ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're just like shooting the shit. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, Borto's like Borto's like so good right now." Sarada unlocked her MS. Everyone's just like super happy and like bouncing around like the Naruto community is back alive and everyone's like Boruto will never be good and it's like nobody fucking asked like yeah. nobody asked you yeah. I guarantee you nobody gives a shit yeah like they, if you've ever like seen people enjoying themselves and being like I should tell them not yeah. to enjoy yeah, themselves I should piss on that guy's ice cream like I like <laughs> just just do it imagine do imagine, it for me yeah imagine a version of that like in public like in a public park someone's just flying a kite and you come over and snip it and you're like kites aren't fun no the, the, and it's like I like it. I enjoy I kite. like the, the kite. The thing is, it happens. It happens. Yeah. Like, it, like people will be like, oh, look at that like black family having a barbecue. Time to call the police. Jesus. And, and you're <laughs> like, well, that's what, it's the internet version yeah. of that. It's fucking aggravating. I like, this has been such a week for it too, because I posted a video about Demon Slayer, just like gushing about this most recent episode, mm -hmm. CGI, because it's really like, they, there's a big CGI koi fish. Are you caught up with Demon yes, Slayer? Yes, Big CGI koi fish, clearly CGI, mm -hmm. but it's like... But like, not even. But it's like a well done... It's not just like a slapped in model of someone standing there just so they don't have to draw it. In like, like one frame yeah. per second, yeah. Like running down a soccer field. I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. But I, uh, like, I, it's like, you know, if it was in a 3D CGI movie you would consider it like a well animated character. Absolutely. And so I was like, that's all I said. I was just like, yeah, like that is what makes this integration of CG better than most. And people are like, I got comments that are like, God, this fucking fanboy like selling out to Demon Slayer. Like you can't take any of this. Like he can't say a single, like not biased opinion. And I was just like, I, sorry, I like a thing. Like, I've never come out and been like, I'm the BBC of anime. Everything I say is going to be unbiased. Yeah, exactly. Like, if I'm talking about Demon Slayer, I'm, it's going to be positive if good things are happening. Exactly. In it. Like, it's so weird that there is this, like, mentality that, like, creators can't like a thing, like unbiasedly you know what i mean it's like every time that like somebody goes and sees a premiere and then they're like oh i liked the movie mm. and everyone's like well you're getting paid to say yeah. that or something every time straw hat goofy is like oh i liked this movie everyone's like oh you're yeah prove you're not getting paid or something yeah. and it's like I, nobody asked you like like if he enjoyed something like sure he's obviously been paid to say good things about yeah. things before but like like at the end of the day if you see people enjoying something it doesn't matter what they're enjoying if it's not hurting anybody yeah being like uh, the thing you're enjoying sucks who are you helping? Yeah. Who what, are you? To watch a different reviewer if you don't trust them. To, like, to yeah. step into the mentality of being like, stop enjoying the thing you enjoy. I literally, I can't even wrap my mind around. Yeah. Like, no, it makes I get that. legitimately no sense to me. I, I have like, cause I also agree. And I, I feel the same way with like spoiler comments, mm -hmm. which you probably don't get as much, but like, I like when I did my Demon Slayer reactions, I was like, no spoilers. Like you guys are so good in every other series. For some reason, I can't walk two steps without getting a Demon Slayer spoiler though. It's very it, one piece. People love spoiling Demon Slayer for yeah. no reason. And I am a reaction channel. And so like I said that and then like, and I like reading the comments. It's like all the fun of YouTube for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I was like in the comments, people were being good about Demon Slayer. And then I got like, a Demon Slayer spoiler out of nowhere that's just like, he's actually Tanjiro's this. And yeah. I just replied and I was like, 
What did you get out of that? Yeah. What'd that do for you? Who are you helping? Yeah, like, what? why even do that? Yeah. You're not even replying to somebody. Like nope. You're just like, oh, you didn't want this? Here yeah. it is now. And you're like, you are a blight yeah. on it's, society. It's like, or like, you ever see those things where like, when there's like news on an anime and mm. then people comment being like, well, you already know if you read the manga. And it's, it's like, like, well, I didn't. It's like not impressive that you like you, read a oh, book. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby, like, read a picture yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, oh baby, yeah. oh baby, flip through the fifteen-page yeah, like, picture book. You want a fucking medal? Like, cool, you know a thing. You like, have third-grade reading comprehension. Yeah. Congratulations. It's like they act like they just did the fucking Goodwill Hunting equation. Like, yeah. like oh yeah, yeah. Just, nobody else could do it, but I'm just like the world's I smartest. Know. Like, yeah, oh yeah, Shonen Jump is a dollar a month. It's You're not in some wild. elite club because you read a fucking yeah, manga. Like, like, like it's so. Like to like, yeah, I understand wanting to be ahead. Like uh, ever yeah. since I've started the Weeb Commander, I've had to be like well, significantly further ahead. And I understand like you can enjoy the manga more yeah. because there is there's a lot of situations where the manga is better. But reading the manga yeah. doesn't make you better than anime only. Fans. Yeah, things not happening yet in the anime is like not a flex. It's like, the way it works. Yeah, it's like, the system. Yeah, if it happened, if manga in the anime came out simultaneously, the only time I ever really know of it happening like in any capacity is Sailor Moon. Not like really. Sailor Moon, it was like almost concurrent. Um, and that's like, that's just never happens. Yeah. Cause it does, it leads to like l less people like yeah. buying manga. Yeah. Cause like we need people buying manga or doing like weekly reads on Shonen Jump. And that's like how they generate like a lot of their money. And that's how like you get like a marking of how good your anime or manga is, is manga sales. Which is why One Piece fans won't shut up about it. They're like, we've been leading the world in manga sales for 25 years. It's like, yeah, there's more manga to buy of this than anything on earth. Yeah. There's, there's 10,000 chapters. Well, there's 1,081 chapters currently. I love that your like insane section of your brain that like needs to know and prove you know all the facts. Or, like there's like a million chapters. There's well, actually, well, well, there's not actually a million chapters. There's there's actually, actually, Shonen Jump is on a one week hiatus With currently. With your fake glasses. <laughs> Listen, they're blue light, right? They do the <laughs> job. I get headaches without them. It might uh, be placebo effect, but regardless. Yeah. That is something we should talk about though, is the CG of Demon Slayer. Oh, here we go. Uh, because... Wow. Really good. Like really legitimately mind-blowing. Yeah. I mean, I said like my piece on it, but it's it's just the fact that it is like CG one to be uh like jarring. Like they made this giant demon koi fish CG. Yeah. And you see it and you're like, that looks fucking horrific mm -hmm. because it's so different and it moves well. Like it animates well. It's the, the frame rates were higher than I've yeah. ever seen for any CG. Like what we saw in Trigun Stampede of Beastars is the best we've seen of CG ever, yeah. but it still has that clippiness a yeah. little bit. This had none of it. Well, it's also more impressive that like this is a CG model in a 2D world because people were saying it didn't look out of place. Yeah, and it didn't look out of place. Like it looked great. The and, light. Like, I think it was the lighting. It's the lighting and the yeah. colors a lot, and they also do the line thickness thing of all oh, the other characters. Oh, gotcha. Like this fish, because I looked. This fish had like thicker, thinner lines like all over, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Fuck!" They tried so hard on this mm -hmm. fish, but I got that too, where people were like, y "You think this is the best CG anime? What about Trigun?" And I'm like. Trigun's all CG. I'm talking yeah. about like in a 2D thing. Because that's never like CG in anime is never going to be something that's fully eradicated. Yeah. Like it's like it's just practical. Yeah. Like it's important if there's like cars driving by or like a, a group of people like doing that in hand drawn. Yeah. Is impossible. If you want shows to look this good, like it just makes sense. Yeah. Speaking of which, unless you still want to talk about Demon Well, Slayer, I was just right? going to say that like, unfortunately though, it just cannot be considered the standard. Yeah. Like anything who does. Theme star? UFO table yeah. or UFO table? U U uh, UFOable? I think we it's never UFO know. I think it's UFOable. Yeah. Because UFO, what is a, a UFO table? That's nothing. Well, hold on. Yeah, I may blow your mind real quick. Okay. Because if you look at a UFO, like a flying saucer, you just like put legs on that. Kind of looks like a table. Kind of looks like a table. Kind of looks like it's like, you know, those, uh, those like fake globes that open up to be bars. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of what it yeah, looks yeah. like. It definitely looks like it could be a table. Whatever happened to hiding your alcohol around the house? I think that died in the seventies. And yeah. I'm like, why don't we have that anymore? People just drink now. That's fair. Yeah. It's There's okay. no shame. Yeah, yeah. Same with like, if you watch shows like friends or like any show from like the nineties, early two thousands, yeah. it'll blow you away. How many episodes will have like grown adults being like, yeah, like, I need a cigarette. And their friends are like, Chandler, you started smoking again? And it's like, oh, well, that's right. Smoking used to be like taboo. Yeah, exactly. And now it's just like, people are like, you know, a, a joke will happen. It's like, God, have a cigarette. And everyone's like, ah! 
<laughs> Good job. Yeah. We're doing it again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just like, cause the vaping like cycle, <laughs> everyone was like, Oh yeah. Vape to get off cigarettes. Yeah. And then now like, eighth graders smoke. So exactly. It's cool yeah. Again. So we're, we're fucking heading backwards, yeah. baby. It's all right. I was smoking backwoods when I was like, just backwoods. Not like, not like breaking them down to like roll up blunts. Like I smoked backwoods and uh, what were the ones with the wood tips? Oh, um, uh, cigarellos? Yeah, but like they were, oh uh, God, they had wood tips and they were like grape flavored. They were disgusting. Oh, I know you're talking about yeah. actually. Those are gross. I smoked those in like eighth and ninth Those grade. will make you throw up. Oh, for sure. I was hanging out with potheads in fifth grade, like fifth grade, 12 year old stone. <laughs> when was the, when was the first time you drank? Uh, I was 12. I was 20. End of sentence. I was You're 20. 20? I was 20. You're such a good egg. I was so good, and it infuriated me, because I would be like, Mom, I'm going to my friend's house, and she's like, are you sure you're not going to fuck your girlfriend? <laughs> and I'm like, Mom, I, what's the point of me following rules if you're just going to fucking assume I don't? Exactly. See, my mom made that assumption about me, but she was absolutely correct. Yeah. Uh, I, I had a sophomore girlfriend when I was in eighth grade. Mm. Uh, so she was 16. I was like 13. Uh, and so they could drive and they could drink and they could like, well, they, they couldn't drink, but like they had access, <laughs> but to they drank. Yeah. But they were in high school. And so I split an eight ounce water bottle of vodka with me and like two 16 year olds. And yeah. we all pretended to be drunk. Yeah. Cause like cause <laughs> yeah. eight ounces split three ways. It's like a yeah. shot each. Oh, I've had that where like, I guess the first time I like drank mm -hmm. was like me and eight kids sharing one beer. <laughs> like, nice. Just passing one around. Two ounces each, baby. Yeah. It's like the first, what is it? First minute of a power hour. One yeah. shot, baby. Yeah. That's so shot fun. That's of a beer. So cute. Yeah. God, you are so cute. You're cute. See, my mom used to go. We had a we had a lake house, and she used to go up to the lake house for like the weekends, and I would just throw the like full town house parties, like like full like town house party. Yeah, full town house parties at my house. Yeah. We get the cops called on us like every other weekend. We just split. Nice. Everybody would leave. They'd be like, "Who's like who owns this house?" I like, so Peace. that's so unsurprising. Just yeah. like knowing you, it was great, man. Yeah. I was like, I, I don't want to say I peaked when I was sixteen, but I think my popularity. I hope peaked. not. I think my popularity peaked when I was sixteen. You're you have millions <laughs> of like followers across all of your things, <laughs> but nobody knows me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so no, now we can be done with Demon Slayer. What, were you, what did you want to talk about? Um, good animation. Your fucking heavenly delusion. So good. <laughs> yeah, really good. So animation. So good. Really pretty. It's so far very like. Episode one's very okay. Like good writing, like yeah. good dialogue, like great animation, cool world. It's slow. It's a slow burn for sure. As far as anime go. Uh, see, honestly, and that's actually that, that parlays really well into another talking point. I did want to talk about this week because I forgot Vinland Saga was on. Yeah. And I was like, cause like it was the new anime season and I was like, Vinland Saga belongs to the old anime season. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Uh, and so now we're, I started rewatching Vinland Saga and I realized with, like age, I actually like slower anime now. Like I don't like like the all in your face. Like you can build up to yeah. it, but like I prefer nowadays like a Vinland Saga or like a like a Heavenly Delusion as opposed to like I tried to watch Eminence in Shadow. Mm -hmm. It was like this Isekai I've heard was like everyone's like oh this Isekai is really good, and I was like it's like uh, it's fine. Like, yeah, it's, like yeah. it's just like. He's got, at the second it opened up to him in a new world and he's like, I'm trying to survive, like be strong enough I can survive a nuclear blast. And yeah. it's like him and like 13 fucking women. And I'm just like, I know where this is going, yeah. dude. I just can't do it anymore. And like, I just don't need like the 12 episode, like, like constant, like subway surfer of anime. Like, you know, like those yeah. subway surfer videos. Like I, oh, can, I know I can like, stay interested in something without it like having 14 explosions an episode it depends there's a difference between like a slow and like quality is the difference mm -hmm. like because vinland saga also happens to be incredibly good like there's yeah. a difference between like a slow burn of an anime that is like just like you know it's more character driven more dialogue driven and like a boring or poorly paced anime yeah like i am re-watching attack on titan with my roommates oh, right gosh. now and I am like, I was like, you know what? Season one at least bangs, but it's like, like three episodes of like people just being like, Aaron, go lift that boulder. And then he's like, can I really lift this boulder? Yeah. And then it's like, why isn't Aaron lifting it? And then four episodes later, he gets the boulder done. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, it's just like, it's so like, it, like if attack, attack on Titan, I've said this before, like every season could be literally half the episodes mm -hmm. and twice as effective. And same with Demon Slayer, where like I were on episode three and the yeah. and the like upper the like the boss demons have already shown up. Exactly. And I'm yeah. like, 
I'm so into this 11 episode season. Like, I'm so hyped that we are already at the good shit. Exactly. Because, like, we got cleanup episode in the first episode. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is what happened in the entertainment district arc. This is how the upper ranks are dealing with it. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, okay, we get one training episode to get, like, Tanjiro up to the level of these new upper moons. And yeah. then, boom. And now they're going Gyoko yeah. over there. And that's it. And, like, that also speaks to the pacing of the manga. Because yeah. the manga is also paced very quickly. It's, like, not that long. Yeah, it's short. Exactly. So, and I think that kind of speaks to, like, simplicity like it's the it, it comes back to right like because a simple story told well is better than a convoluted story told not great yeah, yeah like it's like i'd rather have like something cut like it's like we have to defeat 12 demons like 12 like the lower moons and the upper moons we got to defeat them because we're demon slayers and you're like cool hell yeah as long as that story's told convincingly and like paced well perfect i love that but like I'm watching Vinland Saga and like, yeah, it's 15 episodes of them farming. Yeah. But like, there's also like complex stories being built around like, how can we stop war? How can we stop like slavery? How can we like make a better life for ourselves? How do we make up for our past sins? And like, like Thorfinn, like tangling with the concept of having to be like, I'm going to try and impart more good with the second half of my life than I did evil in the first half of my life. Right. And like just now in episode like 16 of season two, we're getting to like, actual combat like them like actually fighting against each other but like because of the like what we built up with the moral conundrum that thorfinn's been going through for 16 episodes it brings so much more weight to him having to fight for the first time yeah no for sure absolutely i mean yeah it's just like a matter of like it's not it's not slow because they don't have anything to do or exactly. like talk about or they're trying to stretch it out it's like deliberately slow and again just coincidentally very good yeah so like that's like i think that's what i've leaned towards like as i've gotten yeah. older that might be like me heading towards scene in sign in sign in sign in yeah i feel like this is the closest i've ever been on the first try uh far and, still really yeah i mean <laughs> i'll get there eventually yeah but yeah so like i think heavenly delusion it's not slow but it's like kind of like a thriller like you have to like piece it together yeah, yeah. And I think by the end, it'll make sense. But currently, like, it's, buckle it's, up. It's like an intrigue, like, anime, mm. you know? Like, kind of like what Attack on Titan used to be, where it's like, what is this world? Like, yeah. what are these monsters? How What's beyond all... the walls? Yeah, it's ve yeah, literally, yeah. Attack on Titan. Like, it's very much like every episode you're like, well, I've only watched the first one. But after the yeah. first one, I'm like... They yeah, do establish, like, yeah, like, that little yeah. communities within the walls. Like, yeah. the tomato place. Yeah. Like, after the first one, I was left with the feeling of, like... Yeah, like, it wasn't the most... Like, I'm not ready to go find a stranger and be like, you gotta watch this. Yeah. But, like, I was like, I, you know, if Hulu decides to just play the next one without my permission, I'll sit here and watch it. I didn't, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I... But, like, it's kind of been back-to-back -back seasons for Hulu where I've been like, all right, I'll open I, Hulu to look for anime. You're a big Hulu guy now. I, well, it's just, like, I... It's kind of hard for me to be like, oh, yeah, like, watch anime on three different streaming services. I'm, like, so pro Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll has almost all of my I needs. want a Monopoly so goddamn badly. I know. I want whoever the CEO of High Dive is to just fucking, like... Just be like, you know what? Mixed. Yeah. Take the Take the check. Yeah. Like, you could put Call of the Night in Oshinoko on Crunchyroll, and I'd be excited static because yeah. i'm a simple little boy and i just want to see continue watching there's yeah. a new episode yeah i'll click it whoever i need to pay 10 grand to to kill the ceo of you think that's High what Dive? that'll do it it'll be like like the u.s assassinating like a south american like leader <laughs> be like oh yeah that'll break down the government yeah, yeah yeah it's like in the dark knight when batman like kidnaps a chinese executive like from china oh i forgot about somehow that somehow yeah. that doesn't start a third world war yeah you're like, right yeah it's just like yeah american yeah. vigilante yeah. like kidnaps your richest dude Dude. Yeah, like, yeah. How did how did he get away with it? I, he like so shouldn't have. That absolutely should have just caused like an all out war. That's so funny. I never even thought about that. I guess I was like too young to be like, oh, geopolitics. Yeah. How do they work? Uh, um, listen, for anyone like getting into politics, like an American man in a bat suit <laughs> cannot go and kidnap a foreign dignitary. Simply cannot. And, and bring him to America for justice. Like, yeah. I, like, it doesn't matter, like, if it, like, works out in the end. Yeah. Still. It like, doesn't matter if he was a mean guy. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter, like, how much crime he's been embroiled yeah. in. So, outside of that, mm -hmm. um, I think I was going to say, to, like, extrapolate on the point that oh. we're talking about, I think anime is at its best and at its worst currently. I think anime is as good as it's ever been while also simultaneously being as bad as it's ever been right now. What's I was actually going to bring this up last week. And okay. Also, I'd like to remind you real quick. We have a game we have to do. Oh, we'll get there. Um, 
I'm that's the third bloop. That's yeah. our third act. Got you. Yeah. I think I think in bloops too. Actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. Um, I I was gonna bring up last week also. I are there because I was like, should we do like a top ten best anime and top ten worst anime? And then I realized. I don't watch anime that is bad. Exactly. If, if I don't like an anime, I don't watch. I'll get two episodes in and be like, "Fuck this!" Why? Like, there's so yeah. much good anime. Why would I waste my time? So why is it the worst it's been? Like, what is bad anime right so, now? So like two years ago, yeah. I think we hit the threshold where there's been more anime built, like made after 2010 than the entirety of time before it. I buy that. So yeah. like, it's not. I don't think it's individual episodes. I think it's actual like IP. Like like there's. 300 shows. Yeah. Like, obviously, One Piece has been running, and, like, there was, like, Gintama. So, like, there was a mass amount of, like, long-running shows prior to 2010. But, like, after 2010, and, like, now in the era that we're currently in, I think because there's so many titles being made, there are... How many seasonal anime are being released right now? Um, 40? Yeah. S- <laughs> a a million? Definitely. Like, <laughs> like I'll, I'll scroll through, like, my anime list, and I'll be like, yeah. look at, like, seasonal releases. And I'll be like, oh, cool, like, Demon Slayer, Dr. Stone, right, Hell's right, Paradise... Right. And then I'll be like, th- th- I got reincarnated into another world with my smartphone. Yeah. Or like, there's like 98 isekai every season. Yeah. And I'm like, who the fuck? Like, who was watching? True, but also, I don't know. I think the good, I think like we are having some of the best anime ever right now. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, because I genuinely don't think most anime back in the day, if they release now with their pacing and better animation. Yeah. If they release now, like Dragon Ball released now with its It'd pacing, get dropped after one season. It'd get dropped if Naruto, yeah. like it'd get dropped. And see, I Naruto is the they, only one I rally against. Actually, Naruto is a good first beginning. 24 episodes. Yeah, yeah. Fire. They do, yeah, they go hard. So like, maybe not Naruto. Like, like animation. Bleach, One Piece, Dragon Ball yeah. Z, all of those old school yeah. anime, if they drop nowadays, wouldn't make it. True. I think One Piece, without a doubt, wouldn't. Like, you need to, like, cook you, through do you to think our kids long park. nowadays give a shit about Loge Town? Yeah. Or, like, or Axe Hand Morgan? Yeah. No. Like, it's, like, the fact that we, like, and obviously One Piece was built on the fact that by the time the anime was airing, there was already, like, a hundred chapters out. Yeah, yeah. You know, and everyone was like, oh, my God, this is a sprawling story of, like, incredible grandeur. But, like, nowadays, if it's, like, oh, you have, I have to bite the bullet through 24 episodes of nothing yeah like no there's no way one piece wouldn't make it today right no i agree um and that's the end of my sentence well so like so <laughs> what i'm saying is like yes obviously yeah. like some of the greatest animes of all time started in the 90s and the early 2000s it's still running to this day but like there's so much good anime that comes out every single season that's on par with the old stuff and it, and at a higher like quantity yeah. Like we have like JJK, Vinland Saga, Demon Slayer. Like it's yeah. gotten to the point where there was a big three prior, right? Right. And now there's like people call it the Sinners for Six or the Dark Trio. And like we don't even know like how to like compartmentalize like what anime do you like? What anime are you putting right. into the, the big six currently? I think if anything, and it makes sense. So if anything, it's impressive that there is so much good anime. Yeah. But it does make sense considering they're all made by different people. Yeah. Because like I, and even though it seems like I will take any, like, chance to bash at Marvel that I will. um, Oh, yeah, like, oh, no, Disney's gonna get kneecapped by Otaku's Anonymous. Listen, it's because I will take any chance to bash Marvel. Yeah, who gives Um, a shit? They don't invite us to their premieres. I think about this all the time where it's like, I'm like, man, it's gotta be tough. I mean, if you like Marvel, it's easy to be a Marvel content creator. Oh, incredible. But I was yeah. like, man, if I accidentally trap myself in the Marvel niche, mm. I would be fucked because I hate everything that's been coming out recently. Yeah. And I'm like, man, it's great that like every season there is at least one like anime that is my new favorite anime. Yeah. Like I had like Chainsaw Man was my new favorite anime. Like Blue Lock is the hypest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Exactly. Um, Trigun, would, when I finish, I'm sure will be hype. Yeah. And now Demon Slayer, which, well, again, is so fucking good. And the thing is, like, we get, the, like, the return of this IP because they're TV shows. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, Marvel did the TV show. Like, what was the last TV show they dropped? It's been a while. Um, It's been, like, a second. Yeah. I think they, would, like, ended strange. with the, I don't know, uh, it was, like, Miss Marvel, I think it was. Yeah, that might have been the last. That was the yeah, last yeah. one. But, like, the thing is, like, we get, like, the, the hype comes back every year or so and like we have like a hard carry to every single season like listen genuinely if you want to be a content creator like there's no better space to be in like obviously anime content creation saturated but like anime is only getting bigger every yeah. year and there's only more anime coming out and what i think is like well obviously yes we're getting that highest echelon of anime yeah. we've ever seen 
we're also getting a lot of people who's like, you look at it and you're like, oh, everyone's so creative. You know, yeah. like, oh, good for you. Yeah. It's, like, it's like webtoons that were like creative enough and like quirky enough that they were like, all right, yeah. fuck it, we'll run with it. Like, I, yeah, I mean, I think it's a net positive, like, obviously. Yeah. Um, it is like, I, th I think anime has become the most accessible too, though, now in terms of like, I now have options. Mm -hmm. If I want to have my friend who like doesn't like anime, I can be like, yo, this one has no tits. This one's got yeah. like not a lot of screaming. Like mm -hmm. you can watch this. No internal dialogue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's got detective arcs. It's got a dark, it's got a tournament arc. Yeah. Like, it, like, no matter what you want, you can find it in yeah. anime. Which and I've fine. been like, I think both of us who have like girlfriends who don't watch anime, we've been finding places to, like chisel away their interests and be like, yeah. all right, like what can I get you into? Dorothy liked Buddy Daddies. Dorothy liked um, My Neighbor Kotaro. And I was like, all right, you just like cute shit. And I'm like, I'm like about to get us started on Spy X Family. Cause I'm like, we have to. I, I'd be very excited. I want to get Dorothy in on an episode and see which she thinks is better, Spy or Buddy Daddies. And Ooh. then have you two go fucking at it. I think she would honestly go for Buddy. She's only seen like five episodes. She saw the last five episodes. I think she'll like Miri more. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, not Miri, uh, Anya more. For I think she'll like, easy, I You're just projecting. finished. Oh, I, I could... just finished Buddy Daddy. I think it's the newer. woman I've spent 24 hours a day with for the past four years, I know a little bit better. Oh yeah, why do you think she went to China for so long? Because she didn't love because me anymore? Because she felt like she wasn't being heard here. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I know her I'm more. actually a very good listener. I'd like to say it's like one of my better qualities, but that's fine. Oh, I I'm like a, I like that you I'm open TikTok and it's like bloopy doop, bloopy doop droop, <laughs> and Nick's like. <laughs> I am a, an adult consumer of Coco Melon. Like I nice. legitimately like just I, fuck me up with some like like shapes and sounds. Uh, I'll be so happy. Sarah's ex roommate, yeah. who I know very well, is on Coco Melon. She's one of the voices. Don't what, ask who, because I don't know. Gig. Yeah, what a what a gig. So, uh, we're now we've wrapped that. We're in our third act. We're we in our third act, which means gaming? it's time for the game, ladies and gentlemen. Today. Da, da, da. Oh, sorry, I thought theme song. Do we have a theme song? Da, 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 da. It's a game. That's not <laughs> copyrightable right there. I thought it was gonna do when darkness. That's usually where you go. Yeah. Um, but so today we have a new game, um, and the consequences of the game are one of our most fun yet. So me and Daniel, uh, yeah. well, I guess I have been recruited into a volleyball league, uh, at, in Santa Monica. Um, and it's mostly content creators who do it. Uh, all super friendly dudes. Some of which Danny already knows. It's, it's all like six foot tall, hot like model. Like supermodel. Yeah. Like, it's Jennings. Like you guys probably know them Jennings too. They have Brower. millions of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Millions of shit. That's what he thinks about they his followers. Every single one of you, individual uh, shit. Oh, they got millions of followers. Jennings Brower. What was that girl's name? She's huge. Oh, uh, Liv uh, Purcell. Yeah, Liv Purcell. Uh -huh. Others, those are the only two I know. Uh, Lonnie. I yeah. don't know Lonnie's last name. Uh, but yes, it's a lot of yeah. like very large Instagram TikTokers that I kind of just stumbled upon because yeah. Soups was playing with them and Soups is a friend. Uh, and so I was just like- You know Soups? Yeah, Soups is a friend. Matt. You let me just fucking shit on Marvel here? Oh, that, who gives a, a, a soup shits on that, Marvel? That's the guy who, if you say Marvel three times in a mirror, he comes soup, and slits soup. your neck. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah. oh God, Matt, how the fuck did you get here? Yeah, um, yeah no, me, soups, me and Soup's are friends. Um, nice. I, I mean, he currently left me on red, but you know, that's fine. Tough. So maybe we're not friends anymore. Yeah. Uh, but so I'm like, Danny, like you need to come to this volleyball league. Like it's good, like marketing, like, like networking. Yeah talk to all these other content creators also like we get outside we get sun like finally we live the los angeles life i pay for oh yeah how yeah so like me and danny i so listen i played volleyball for like three hours with these guys uh and my ass was so i couldn't walk for like two days god we don't realize beach volleyball very hard i think everyone realizes that you have to jump in the sand, sand. It's yeah, hard, it's man. Sand. and also like i was just like tearing up the bottom of my feet god it was just like Ugh. yeah it was just like I could, you run around on sand for four hours you don't realize like it just like works away the bottom oh of your my feet god. that being said the bottom of my feet never been this soft before you're not selling this at all it's to me. fun man because i, I already volleyball. don't want to play beach volleyball you with you and your watch. friends like you can just hang out and watch. i'll do that i don't i, don't, I think the I second want you there i think the second they see me they'll be like that's a watcher that's yeah <laughs> That's a that's a fucking water boy right there. You see like Jennings like spiking it, over at you, just it, like oh god. It's gonna be like a Scott Pilgrim bit where I'm there and I'm like, hey Jennings, and he's like, hey Danny, and it cuts to me and I already have water. I'm like, hey Jennings, <laughs> are you thirsty? Yeah, that was just good. like shaking so much of water spilling out of the glasses. Like, that was a really good set. I'm proud of you. Good set. Uh, Liv Purcell, uh, the only 
interaction I had with her, uh-huh. uh, she like came up to me and she was like, did anyone ever tell you you look just like Andrew Garfield? And I was like, so frequently, actually. Which you get is that some, a lot? I get that in the comments. Wow. People say that. They're like, you look like Andrew Garfield mixed with um, Tom Holland. And I'm like, well, at least I'm a fourth different Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Yeah, yeah, you are the multiverse of Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just like if Tom Holland and I'm, Andrew Garfield yeah. finally touched tips. I'm the fucking Patara Spider-Man. <laughs> like, I have no idea what that Patara means. Patara earrings. It's always fun to me when I find out you'd never oh, actually Dragon watched Ball. Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball, Ball thing. Oh, yeah, yeah because I, the show I watched a decade ago, I remember the name of the earrings they used to fuse. I promise you, you're on the wrong side of history right now. I, listen, I know the With fusion the, dance. Yeah. I know that. That's but, way more iconic. Pachara is like, I'm definitely not pronouncing it right, in your defense. Okay. Be, everyone knows. Everyone who's ever, like, glimpsed at Dragon Ball know. Because that's a cool remember. fusion. That's Vegito. Well, yeah, I mean, like, Gogeta and Vegito are the same person. Well, like the fusions are the same. They do different things so, and they look different. They barely. You cuck. I, <laughs> I can't believe you right now. You tell me Vegeta and Gogeta are two di- are not two different people. You kidding me right now? <laughs> Vegito has the long thing coming down, and he is more Vegeta than uh, Goku. Uh-huh. And then Gogeta is more Goku than, than Vegeta. Vegeta. He's more goofy. He's lither. <laughs> Vegito is more serious, and he has the the sword move. The sword move. He has a sword move. He has the five finger death thing. Oh, five finger death punch. Yeah. 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 Your favorite dad rock. And then Gogeta does the one where it's a little swirly ball and then he grabs it and turns into sparkles and he throws it. And then you turn into mists. I'm sweating. That was, that was <laughs> sick. I was really that that I think you calling me a cuck right there might be my favorite moment on the podcast ever. I was genuinely in awe at the moment. That is awesome. So, all right, yes. So you're the fusion of Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Should we get to oh no, so the the, the game. No, the also, stakes. The stakes of the game are uh whoever loses has to wear Danny's <laughs> terrible shorts to the volleyball. These uh, would not be as terrifying stakes if I didn't have the interaction at your house. <laughs> like if yeah. these were stakes, I'd be like, that's fine, I can lose this. No. But now that like the second I walked in, everyone was like, you like, <laughs> you, you boy if you yeah. don't yeah. I got laughed almost out of your property yeah, by exactly. everyone I've and met. From especially you. after you had un, like undergone like a dramatic aesthetic change to your body, and nobody noticed. No one noticed the yeah. arms. Anyway, so Should we, oh, speaking of your wig arms, though, yeah, uh, I think we now realize that like you shaving your arms, you can now be in the thumbnails of our TikToks. Yeah, and they yeah, consistently it, blow up. They do well now. Yeah, yeah, which is insane. That's wild. That's super hype. You've like literally broken the curse. I feel bad for any naturally hairy people. (laughs) Like, what a horrible standard to set. Yeah, like, listen, just, like, be hairless and be beautiful or, you know, you'll never be famous. Easy as that. My roommate, Josh, genuinely is, like, like, when I showed him, he's like, you did that for the pod? And Mm -hmm. I was like, well, like, as a joke. And he's like, okay. And he's like, like, it was the most, like, you've changed, man. Like, oh moment. Oh, my God, you like, sold he's, out. He's, yeah, he's like, people bullied you into doing that. I was like, well, no, it was, like, kind of a joke. But yeah. I like it now. And he's like, you like it now? Maybe. Like, yeah. Yeah, you, you're, you're not just telling yeah. yourself that? Yeah, yeah, like, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do Guess That Pokemon. Um, So, like, you know, like me and Danny are going to look at a little photo of a Pokemon and well, it's not, well, it's an anime character, but it's like their silhouette. So, uh, it's not a Pokemon. So it's You've not a described Pokemon. this horribly. Well, we're going to look could, at a could, silhouette of an anime character in the format of Guess That Pokemon. Exactly. There what could go. hypothetically be a Pokemon? Because, like, yeah. they are anime characters we'll, we'll do a little describing as well for our audio only listeners exactly yeah but i mean this is a great moment to like plug the fact that like there is a way to visually watch this yeah so you know follow the youtube if you have a channel yeah. uh so me and danny i'm, I'm assuming stank is just gonna like overlay this yeah. well it's also for our live viewers too just understand what's happening right oh now. yeah so stank is just gonna overlay yeah. this um you'll hear it me and danny are gonna guess uh should we should we just like say who yells first or should we do the dollar bill poll do the dollar bill pull. Dollar bill pull? Yeah. It's a okay. good thing we just keep two one, well, fake $100 bills. Well, it has to be $100 bills. One dollar bill. That's fair. Oh. What the fuck is that? Koro oh, Sensei. Oh, this Absolutely is going to be Absolutely Koro hard. Sensei. That's that is tough. so easy. All right, I'm putting it back. Wow. Uh, he's a, It's a man with tentacles I, and, <laughs> and a bulbous it's head. It's Koro Sensei. Who yeah. else could that be no, outside of Koro right. Sensei? Wow. All right, one zero. That was tough. I Okay. The editing on this is actually very impressive. Yeah. Wow. Next, oh. please. Is this a six-minute video of blackness, Stank? What's going on here? Stankland. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Frieza. I was, I was Frieza, pointing baby. it down. Well, now we're even. You didn't even. What form of Frieza? Uh, final. It could be black Frieza or gold Frieza. Wow. It's actually gold wow. Frieza. Wow. It was a black and white silhouette. How could anybody know? And that's genuinely fair. Yeah. He, he hasn't changed his shape in a while. Wow. I like the oh, 10 or so seconds of blackness between every single one of them. It's a I good like reset. It. Yeah, no, it is a good reset. It's a good time. I'm very tense now, though. Sasuke, oh, bitch! Son of a Sasuke, bitch! It's a man holding a sword, yeah. and he's got a dress on, and that's it's basically what Sasuke wears. It's the hair. Can't even really see the hair. I saw the hair. Two, one. Woo! Oh, if I have to wear these shorts. It's honestly better if I wear the wow. shorts because I know them. Now we got a game, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. We got it. It's especially game. better that you wear the shorts, um, because because of what I put you through, and they're long. Oh, so it's gonna be great on I'm you. Not that much shorter. You know what, strength? Goku no, no. Super Saiyan three. That's you know what, strength. Absolutely. No, no, no. no I'm saying I'm saying strength because I, oh, I pulled I the you. dollar bill out from under you. I'm saying fair is fair. I thought you said strike that one. That is so. I, these for, are so tailored towards Danny. For anyone, it's Goku and Sasuke. Where are the ones <laughs> that Danny doesn't know? I'm gonna get gone, and then you're gonna fucking off yourself. I'm sorry. What now? Gone. Gone. There we go. Oh wow. <laughs> Wow. Strength is power. It's L. Or no, it's I'm sorry. No. Who is it? Who is it? No, it's L. It? Yeah, it's L. Okay. I It I'm, was L. You you had, second the way guess. you looked at me, I didn't <laughs> you have the ability to gaslight me just with your eyes. It's terrifying. This is good. Tied. All tied Tito, up. I'm I'm stressed out. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I look I should have had that one. I low-key hate this. It's really who can grab you have the to dollar be bill strong. stronger. I don't know who that is. Detective Conan. No. Absolutely. No, it's not. Give it back. Boji. It's fucking Boji. Boji. Woo. Oh, my God. Holy shit. I ride. Let's go. I ride for Ranking of Kings so hard. Let's go. It low key, like, that kind of looks like Detective Conan. No. It does? <laughs> no. It's a short little it's boy a little with a bulbous head. I, it's a little I crown, see, idiot. I didn't see the crown. We don't have a good angle on it. We're looking at a oh phone my. at an angle. Okay. Naruto! I, I just, we oh, keep- Oh, all tailored to Danny. We keep slapping the dog. Oh, look, you haven't seen. What, and you can there still- There you go, there you, you go. Can, you need the handicap. I don't need the I handicap. I two up on Don't you. you dare. I also think it's funny that you're like, it's better I wear the shorts because they know me. I knew them before you. Well, I know, but I've been there. Well, we I all built know them. Poor. I listen. Uh, were you? Have you? Were I hung sand? out with Jennings during all of WonderCon. Have you? Have you got the, got the sweat and the sand on you with these people? I don't even know. Don't fucking, you have to know Salumi. when you grab it. Salumi. You have to know when you grab oh, it, like you, you fucker. Oh, like you went for Boji when you knew? I didn't even go for this one. <gasps> Power. That doesn't count. You're right. You saw it. That looks like a Lumi. It was a, it was a Who's girl. Who's a Lumi from what? Uh, from Hunter Hunter. God damn I it. I like how after we said it's power, you're like then trying to describe it. Like if they yeah. know power. They know power, they know but like it was like it. long luscious hair. Shinra. Four three. Thank no, God. No, it's um, it's whoever. Oh fuck, fairy tale. It's absolutely Shinra. It's fairy tale. One thousand percent Shinra. Wow, you're right. Thank I thought God. it was Natsu. Oh I thought it was my Natsu. God, did I need something wow. he didn't know? Four three, baby. Damn, I'm I can't so believe you knew. Wow, he wasn't even in his fire gear. That's fucked. What do you mean he wasn't? He was wearing his orange. That's jumper. the orange one. Yeah, the orange jumper. It's not his like uh, black and blue. Oh, true. It's like OG. Gojo! Shit. Gojo! I hate that show! God, and I got it. You you don't hate JJK. Well, I cannot people coexist. Ask me. I cannot coexist <laughs> with you if you hate JJK. You're right. Oh, 5 3. Wow, wow. The, the problem is because neither of us got power, is that now it's evens. I have three up on you. I don't think it's 5 3. No, it's 5 3. We'll see. Guaranteed That's fine. It's five, Someone's three. editing it. So, yeah, oh, I'm we sure. don't need to know on the spot. I'm sure Stank will let us know. Stank, Just, I don't think the 10 seconds of downtime was this. Um, Saitama. Let's go, baby! Oh my God, six. Let's three. go, Stank. All right, you know what? I'm I'm really proud of you. I am. I genuinely. How much time do you have? Uh, well, there's 15 total. Okay. So we're at nine. So you I got, got time. You I have gotta, to get I gotta, all I gotta, of them. I gotta pull this out of my ass. Is what I gotta do. All of them. Wow. Oh my God! I did. I did. I. How did I not read that with Saitama? Oh God! I hate <laughs> me. I hate me right now, man. <laughs> Fuck. Wow, that was good. Six, I thought four. that was like a fucking slow poke. I'm locked in. I thought that was like a like a snorlax. I I got it. I have to be so goddamn locked in it's, right now. It's so Roshi. That was so quick. Honestly, I it would the only way it could have been more Roshi is if it was his turtle shell on his back as well. Wow. I, I think that, that then I definitely would have thought it was a Pokemon if they threw in a Pokemon. Honestly, fucking turtle. if Stang threw in like an actual Pokemon, that'd have been very funny. Because like I'm ready now. 
What in the fuck am I looking at? Oh, Jotaro. Huh? Jotaro? Sick five baby? <laughs> From what? JoJo's. That was a whoa horrendous I that was a, silhouette. I it thought, looks like a box. I thought that it's was a Jot tractor. It's Jotaro, I it was a tractor. Oh, Jotaro pointing. That is a horrific. I thought it was a Bob's, like Bob the Builder character. Oh my God, 6'5", I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I, me too. I'm legitimately going to pass out. The problem is it's even now. Aki. I threw the dollar back. Aki, 6'6". Six, six. Didn't have it either. You didn't have it either. I six, did. Six. Once you put it down, I was like, I have it. If I you had it. gotten it out before me, I would have given it to you. You have to know when you grab it. I knew, and then I just got brain freeze. <laughs> this is dead air. Dead air. Dead Sorry, it's taking cut dead air. I'm pretty sure the I no, AI cuts it. dead air. Is that Link? Good. No, it's Urza. Urza Scarlet. Fuck, I didn't know. I didn't even know. And I, and I wouldn't know after I grabbed it. This is it the last anyway. one. This is the last one. Wow. Wow. The problem is, we, we neither of us knew power. Wow. So if you get this, it's tied. You know, <gasps> we should. Oh! I think it's tied still. No, wait. It can't be tied. It's an odd number, right? It's, it's well, it, it was an odd number, and then we missed one. Oh. Wait, wait chat. Did we. Time yeah. out. Yeah. Chat, who won? Who won? Chat. I think it's tied. We're gonna have to see. Listen, it's we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go back through the editing, and wow. I guess we'll find out. Stank will tell us. Wow. Well, we can't go to volleyball until next Saturday anyway. Yeah, so I'm we'll gonna be in Mexico this yeah, weekend. Yeah. So I'm gonna be in Muskogee, Oklahoma. You're gonna be. Oh, should we talk about that? Sure, we can. I really want to know who won. Check chat again. <laughs> and I I don't think they know. That was so fucking tense. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out who has to wow. wear the shorts. Um, and if we're tied, <sighs> what do we do if we're tied? Rock, paper, scissors? We have to do something. Wait, I don't have simple. two of the shorts. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Oh, that would be funny. What if we cut them in get, half? And just like sew it into other shorts? Or yeah. I get equally as terrible shorts. Yeah. Yeah. One of those. That I work. get to buy you shorts. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, I wear your shorts and I get to buy you shorts. That feels like full comic I was, circle. I was going to say that isn't fair, but then um. I was like, well, I wanted the reverse deal. <laughs> exactly. We'll see. We'll see. Or we'll just do rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Wow, wow. That was wow, tight. Wow, wow. Yeah, that, that was incredibly was tight. Uh, all right. So my best boy of the week yeah. is Thorfinn. Okay. Uh, Thorfinn. So like I said, uh, Thorfinn is currently like battling against Snake or like heavy uh, in, in Vinland Saga right now. They're trying to like escape Gardar, this like escaped slave. And I think genuinely the conversation around um, Thorfinn and Vinland Saga right now is... Like they're talking about like how do we end war? How do we end slavery? And that and they're like, well, a lot of slaves are created through war. And so like they're talking about like breaking the cycle of hatred, basically. They're like, so what do you do if somebody tries to attack you? Mm -hmm. They're like, like it's like and, like bringing up the question is like, is military might peace? Like if you achieve peace through war, is that is that right. genuinely right. peace? Is do the ends justify the means? Exactly. Yeah. And I think it's done out of all of the anime I've ever watched, I think like the building of the farm arc and like them being like, is conflict resolution only possible through force? They do a better job like talking about the cycle of hatred than pain. Dude, the fucking like discussions in Vinland Saga mm -hmm. from chapter one have been so good. Mm -hmm. Like it's always been great. The whole, like his whole arc with his father, not even arc, but like the whole thing about his father where like this, they find this slave and then his father, like, to teach his kids a good lesson is, like, I'll buy the slave with, like, literally everything I have. Yeah. Like, it, it's always been so, like, well executed in its, like, messaging. And, like, it's never even, like, messaging. It's all, like, think about this. You know yeah. what I mean? Which has been great. No, I, I, it's just, like, and then, so Thorfinn is coming up against Heavy and um, Askeladd's ghost comes to his shoulder. Right. And he's like, oh, you're going to fight this man? And he's like, oh, you're trying to help somebody, so you have a good reason. But I'm sure he has a good reason to yeah. want to fight you as well. And it's just like, the like, even if you believe you're helping somebody, somebody else across from you believes they're just as in the right as you are. Yeah. And that's like one of the most, like it was one of the more gorgeous presentations in such a simple, not like overly like overt kind of way. Yeah. Because like the thing about like the discussion of the cycle of pain, the cycle of hatred in Naruto is that like, it's so overt. Yeah. They're like, I kill, I kill you because you kill me. And it's like, I, my my pain is far greater than yours and stuff like that. And it's like so over. And like, obviously, like Nagato's backstory is devastating. And I'm not saying that the conversation in Naruto isn't good. It uh, is. Uh, and Nagato's one of my favorite characters. I'd say he's probably my favorite bad guy in Naruto, point blank, period. Is that the puppet guy? Nagato? The red hair? Who's Nagato? That's pain. 
Oh, 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 pain. Gotcha, the gotcha. people who like makes like gotcha. controls the pain. I know pain. Gotcha. I know him as pain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like like the devapath is what is like um is his re like he takes his friend's body and like makes that into what is oh my god, Yaiko. Yaiko, he takes his body and turns it into the devapath. But uh so like the conversation around this is probably the best I've ever seen. And watching Thorfinn go through that conflict, but also just be fucking him in combat, incredible. Yeah. That's hype. Yeah. That's who, super cool. Who's your best boy? My best boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, is the... Stank for telling us who won <laughs> in, in, in our contest. Yeah. My best boy is the live theatrical production oh, of my Spirited God. Away. I can't believe we didn't talk about this earlier. We're talking about it now. This is I'm, when I want to talk I'm about so it. I'm so excited to talk about this. Uh, Holy shit. Because I also don't have news. So this is kind of my news. Okay. That, that at, it, it happens. Yeah, it, that exists. it exists. Yeah. At AMC theaters right now, you can see like a recording, a very well done recording of the live okay. play of Spirited Away. The only reason I say it's well done is because it's not like just some tripod up in the back. Yeah, it's like balcony. a dude with a shaky cam yeah, or like, like the spy glasses being it, like, I gotta get this. Yeah, it's not like a bootleg. Like, it's like... You would hope. There, yeah, there's like cinematic angles. There's close-ups on everything. Like, hmm. it... So here's here's the setup. It's three hours long. Mind you, Spirited Away is what? In like an hour and a it's half? It's like two-ish hours. Yeah. Regardless, so long. Yeah. Three hours is so long. I like barely like spirited away like yeah. i think it's good i think it's like very good but it's like always not your been, favorite ghibli movie yeah it's yeah. always been overhyped it's no princess mononoke it's no your name it's no even nausicaa in the valley of the wind i you know what i don't hate that take i think spirited yeah. away is just the one of the ghibli films that got like incorporated into western culture yeah, it's because of the oscars exactly like, yeah if i guarantee like the oscars didn't even watch princess mononoke like mm -hmm. i don't think it's because princess spirited mononoke away is the best and howl's moving castle yeah. And even maybe Castle in the Sky, significantly better. Yeah. I And like Spirited Away's animation is like peak for sure. Like mm -hmm. it's an unreal amount of detail. Yeah. And everything's moving. Like it's an incredible animation. It's like not my favorite story. Yeah. Um. So I was not excited. Mm -hmm. I was so not excited to see this. My Our mutual friend, uh, Daniel, invited us to see it. And... I was like, okay, I'll go see this. I like hanging out with Daniel and I should see this for the pod. Yeah. I'm it, happy you went because yeah. somebody needed to talk yeah. about it. Yeah. It was the most fucking incredible, insane production. Okay. I have ever seen. Like it, incredible in a good way or an incredible in like this got made way. More that, but in a positive way, because it's okay. not the best play, and it's by far not the best way to experience Spirit at a I would recommend watching the movie yeah. before watching the movie of the recording of the yeah. live screenplay. Especially because if you, I kept trying to like put myself in the shoes of someone who's never seen Spirited Away. Gotcha. I'd be fucking lost. Because like they just lose the plot entirely. It no, they do the plot, but okay. the plot is so batshit insane that like like there's the bit Spirited where Spirited Way is a batshit story. It's insane. Yeah. And so it's like the and it's like even though it's three hours long, it feels like it's moving in a fucking clip mm -hmm. while still feeling long. But like like there's no gotcha. point where I'm not like God, this is three hours. Like it's long. So like you're entertained for three hours. You're entertained because it is like insane. It's insane. They do everything and every like the stage is ginormous mm -hmm. the like props and characters are huge like the big sludge monster that comes into the bath is ginormous yeah ghost face when he goes all sludge mode yeah different they do him too and he's also huge oh gotcha okay. like the one like the stink god that like comes oh, in and they gotta yeah, pull yeah. the shit out of him yeah that when ghost face is like in his like final form mm. it's horrifying it's just a bunch of fucking like teeth and arms and cloth mm -hmm. but it's like the most expensive no face no face yeah not ghost, ghost face. face is very That's much scream. very yeah. much scream um it's the most expensive insane like how did they do this how mm -hmm. did they like how did anyone sign off for this it's so good if you've seen spirited away like if you haven't you're like this is the most you're like this is avant-garde yeah. like this is like incomprehensible what is happening gotcha but it's like and there's so much magic there's not like oh the magic of theater like there's sleight of hand there is like the big like they're doing card tricks up there like they're what? doing card tricks they're doing like is that how the extra hour comes in they're like oh yeah choose your card like, like what they are literally doing because there's magic in the movie 
So, yeah. So they're like Haku is like he'll like show something and then he'll be like and it's gone and then another character has it and it's like obviously they always had it yeah, but of like course, yeah. but you're like in the mode you're like holy shit it just yeah. went to that guy and then they like the coolest bit in, in terms of magic the whole thing is incredible mm. is when uh in the end of spirit away spoilers to nobody yeah to, oh yeah. if you haven't seen the 20 year old movie yeah. plug your ears up right now um at the end when they're falling they have this big like hundred foot wall that's like a projector like it's all huge it's genuinely wait unbelievably like the, huge. like the set has a hundred foot yeah. wall yeah, yeah yeah the set is ginormous they have this huge wall that like helps it simulate them falling gotcha. they have people like holding the actress playing sen mm -hmm. they have this giant dragon puppet that whose tail is like connected to a wire so it's vertical and like flowing gotcha and they lower the tail so he's horizontal and then sen's like grabbing his horn so it's like she's riding him that's crazy and then there, she's like i know your name your name is blah 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 mm. and then all the actors all like 12 actors holding the dragon split apart and then in the center, one of them is holding the actor playing Haku. And you're like, was he in the dragon the whole time? And he's just getting shaken yeah. around by the wire. Yeah, he's just like vertical and then horizontal. And he's just in it, in the center. And you're like, I'm watching magic. Yeah. It's insane. And the last thing I'll say is like, most theater productions will do like, they'll bring something out and you're like, oh, that's where the money went. Like, they spend the money on like on this one set piece. Yeah, yeah. On like a big set piece. This is like the whole play is that you're just like, who could afford yeah. this? Yeah, it's nuts. It's so crazy. I recommend it, although it is three hours and you never forget that. <laughs> yeah. Like I going into a movie and seeing anything above like it, like two hours and 10 minutes. I'm like, I know oh. you're such a like, give me 90 minutes or what's give me the, death. What's the biggest 20 minutes in a movie? Like the difference, I think the difference between an hour and a half and an hour and 50 might be the biggest 20 minutes in a movie. It, can you clarify a little more? So like, so like, so obviously no, there's like any 20 minute window in terms of like mm -hmm. a movie's length is obviously the same. Yeah. But like the difference between X and Y is like the biggest feeling like 20 minutes. Yeah. Like what movie has done that? Where no, like, but like you go into it, like you looking at like this movie is this long. Yeah. And like the different, I feel like the difference between an hour and 50 minute movie and the difference, like in an hour and 30 minute movie, yeah. that's the biggest 20 yeah. minute window yeah. you can feel. Yeah. You're like, I'm not doing this. But like, like 240 yeah. in three hours is also a huge 20 minutes. Yeah. No, I feel that for sure. So like I was, I was going to go, but then me and Dorothy had like dinner plans with her family and I was like, okay, I can't make it. Uh, and so obviously I was unfortunate, but at the same time I was like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm devastated about this yeah. because a three hour telling of a stage play of a two hour movie sounds insane. Yeah, no, I was not excited, mm -hmm. but uh, if it's still out by the time this drops, I definitely recommend you guys going out and checking it out because I like need it to make waves in yeah. Western. Cause I've seen plays. I've seen tons of plays like Hades town. Oh, that what my, what am I just giving you water? Oh, yeah, um, uh, you ran out of your bowl of water about 45 <laughs> minutes ago. So. I didn't know if that was like, you sound raspy. Yeah, no, like, I was just like, I was just like, you know, you should, get, good, some, you should get some water. I appreciate it. Do you not want any? I don't want any. Okay. I don't want to split. I'm afraid it's a gag. Oh, you have strap. No, well, I'm healed, but almost, otherwise I wouldn't come and do fucking this. fucking got strap before, before going to Cancun. Yeah. Oh my God. But anyway, check it out. It's the most impressive production. I like have to assume in the history of theater. Yeah, I could imagine. I saw Spider-Man on on Broadway yeah. in eighth grade, and I remember nothing about it. But I was like, wow, how are they do with that? Yeah. So I'm sure it is significantly more impressive. From your TikTok, I think I saw like a man. I saw the dude like the, with the spider legs. Yeah. Insane. It's crazy. Well, they just go above and beyond because I feel like in a Western thing mm -hmm. or just a cheaper thing, it'd just be like four arms on strings that don't move and they yeah. move when he moves his real ones. But this is like each arm is a different actor yeah. with a huge arm attached and their hands 
are his hands. Yeah, and so they're they could do individually gags. articulated. And yeah, shit. so they're yeah. like, there are scenes where he's like doing a speech or like a song or something, and he's like, all of his arms are like interacting with each other, and he's like doing jobs. And Which I'm is like, insane. Yeah, you're just like melting in your seat, like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, exactly. Like, I couldn't even imagine strapping into that as like somebody who hadn't consumed spirit yeah. away. But <laughs> at the same at the same time, like, I wouldn't imagine stepping into like the fantastical world of any anime yeah. in, a, in a theater yeah. sense without like, at least like skimming the manga before. True. Cause like, it's just going to see absolutely insane. Uh, so now we have flashback episode. I have a pretty good one uh, that I, I skimmed off of anime news network. Uh, just I don't lie about it. Why I, are we admitting? What? Just listen. Just be, just be like, we're walking down the street and someone's like extra, extra read all about it. Anime news. Two cent, two <laughs> cent newspaper. Get you. The stock market is down yeah. and ocean Co's opening has topped the charts of YouTube and Spotify. Yeah. Because that's my news. Uh, apparent, so I've been talking a lot about the OPs of this season yeah. and Oshinoko, definitely one of the better ones uh, uh, because like they went for like the whole idol theme yeah. and I'm going to say kind of fucking nailed it. Like it is really good. Yeah. And apparently Oshinoko's opening is so good that it's topping charts on all, not only Spotify, but also YouTube. I know that's crazy. What? I it's, I don't know. I'm so out of touch with like uh, J pop. Like, yeah. like the idol, like the vibe. idol, idol culture. It all sounds the same to me. Like I am such a jaded old man. And while I agree, yeah, I love how they all sound. Oh because, yeah. Oh fucking dude! I listen. I love music that makes you want to go. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> hey, dude! I would be in the True. crowd with those light sticks. I love. Well, like, you love EDM, which is like almost not music. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. There we go, baby. Yeah. Controversy. He listens the spice to of life. Joy and Rainbow Kitten Surprise and thinks he has an opinion on That's music. That's music. What are you talking about? I but also listen to it. Yeah, I they're fantastic. I, I love indie little uh, like what? What is what indie pop? Just indie, just indie, indie alt rock. Uh, listen, I love. A, You're I telling love a me banjo. Rainbow Kitten Surprise isn't like more like musically validated than like the soundtrack to John Wick Three How? that you listen to? How? What do you mean? It's got great lyrics. It's got like. There's dude, lyrics in EDM, friends. You listen to the most insane J-pop like remix of Black Hole Sun, and it is. The most invalidating thing you listen to. You are holding on to that Prisma remix really hard. I, I can't believe it. Months ago, I played I can't that for you. It. It's a great remix. It's nuts. It is a really it's like good a remix. like a 12 year old girl singing Black, Black Hole Sun. Do it like, how she sings it. I don't really, I can't sing it how she sings it. It's also a man. It's still a man. Is singing, it? I think. Black Hole Sun could always use a drop, and now it has Absolutely one. not. I literally It's like if you're playing Black Hole Sun, and then all of a sudden a Six Flags ad came on. Sick! No! I used to listen, in the, in the early days of dubstep, I used to listen to dubstep version of Christmas songs. You're not. The first, the first, like, first dubstep song I ever downloaded was the Pokemon song Dubstep, and it was horrific. <laughs> dubstep has gotten so much better. You wouldn't have made it in 2012, <laughs> man. No, EDM is incredibly valid. It's hard to do. There's instrumentals in it. I don't There's think it's singing. not, it's not, like, not hard to do. I think, like completing a saw trap is hard to do but that doesn't make it like a good activity it makes it artistic <laughs> creating a well a well designed torture trap absolutely yeah. art okay the needle pit yeah incredible just, design a pit of needles what are you talking about still an incredible design you dig a hole and you throw needles in them yeah, that's the worst one you could have brought up there's a key in there and you need to get the key <laughs> imagine I have to listen I would rather cut off my own arm than have to dig through a needle pit I can't believe how on my side you don't realize you are right now what do you mean by bringing up the needle pit the needle as pit your is example good. of why that edm is, is good music good art that is <laughs> in, in, as far as torture traps go uh, that is intrinsically a good okay. torture trap but anyway oshinoko oshinoko's opening is doing really well yeah. what's your news uh the spirited away thing oh okay yeah, it's your, your a twofer yeah. best what's, boy what's your like favorite type because we talked about last time a what torture trap yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the shot, I think the one with the bear trap is also really good. Oh, classic. You fucking normie. I, okay, well, I, oh, here I am rallying for Needle I, Pit. I like the one where uh, the guy's limbs twist all over. Have you seen that in three? Mm. I'm a huge Saw fan. By I'm the not way. a huge. I used to be when I was younger. Now, Gore, I'm like, eat. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I'm, I'm like I, was, I saw Ash Evil Dead and I was like, ah. I was, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yikes, uh, well, that's a lot. That's so funny. No, yeah. what's your favorite kind of, um, like, 
Japanese like music, I suppose. I love ja- J- Japanese rock fucking bangs. Yeah, I love early rock, early yeah. day rad uh, rad wimps like 2011 2012 rad wimps. Uh, they have this album whose name I'm completely forgetting uh, is absolutely incredible. Uh, I love this girl rock band named Otoboke Beaver. That's really good. Tricot is fucking incredible. Nice. Uh, Japanese rock. I adore. Dude. I, I love I eat it up when an anime OP is like actually someone just like shredding on electric guitar yeah. rather than just like some teenage girl coming out and doing like a soft whatever song. I see. I just love, I do. Like, it's it's kind of funny though. that Oshinoko is like OP is doing so well because the entirety of like Oshinoko is rallying against like idol culture. Uh, well, at the same time, yeah, the opening is propagating idols, yeah, it's yeah. propagating idol culture. So it's like that so interesting funny. to see the dichotomy of like True. what we're discussing and like what the actual reality of the situation is. Yeah, that's, that is funny. Cause it doesn't matter how much you rally against it. It's so popular in that's Japan. Like, that's like any Disney movie. That's, like corporations are bad and it's like oh <laughs> yeah. we're a trillion dollar company yeah like we're trying to make yeah. a little like they, they tried to make a city yeah in I, in florida i do like that like those directors like bring that movie to the like producers and they're like here you go it's you know we we Hope don't actually mean it and they're like just make sure boys don't kiss and you're good yeah and get like, the fuck out of yeah. here yeah no disney is disney's fun neither them are marvel i guess they own marvel uh-huh. but they'll never they'll never yeah. have a song that's all that matters all right now we're gonna do love letters which Woo! brings us to the point of the, the the podcast where i say love letters are generated from our lovely little live chat so we are gonna ask right now, all of you watching at home currently, give us a give us a love letter to dive on into here. And if you guys ever wanna get your questions answered on the pod, become a member on YouTube, it's either $4.99 to join my team or $5.99 to join Danny's team a month. Cause Nick rigged me. Yeah, well, you can't, so listen, I wanted to do Team Danny, Team Nick, Okay, but you can't have they know, they you can't know. have two membership yeah. prices at the same. And there's also more for Team Danny, yeah. even though it's more expensive. So kind of kind of opens the door. So I'm going to go pop over to chat and we're going to see. Give me a letter. Panamom asks, uh, what is your anime guilty pleasure? And I know uh, immediately. My anime guilty pleasure is one of the guiltiest pleasures you could have. Uh-huh. I love Monster Masume. That show holds a place in my heart when i was young and virile are you looking up what monster yeah. masume is right yeah. now oh, i bet i'm gonna hate it my friend it's not good it is uh it's a story about a boy uh who has to date a bunch of monster girls uh there's okay. a spider girl who's into bdsm nice uh, there's a harpy there wow. is the snake girl is the best girl uh there's also one of the girls who's just liquid uh, okay. She's a she's kind of like a puddle, but she's like a thick puddle. So yeah, yeah my that's very easy Is for me. Is Snake Girl this like eleven year old in like nun attire? What? I see a snake tail, and I it looks like it connects to the. Which oh one's my snake? god! I don't know. That's Monster Girl Doctor. This is you, you've gone you've gone the <laughs> wrong direction entirely. Monster entire, Masume. Monster Masume no oi oi hasi san. I don't know how you got to that. Just Monster Masume, man. Oh, yeah. Just OG stuff. That right there. That's the original Let's crew. See. Oh my goodness! I grew up. Oh, on that these show. are like hardly monsters. I like oh, Goop Girl. Hardly monsters. I like, I like Goopy Floopy. One of them is quite literally an arachnid with with tits. Is that the top one? Yes. Yeah. Who's, oh, you can't see her. You can't see her spider. Yeah, face. Yeah, you can't see your spider face. Yeah. Um, who's Goopy Magoo? Goopy Magoo. I don't remember any of their names. Uh, I remember uh Harpy. H- Happy Harpy. I don't remember her name. Um, Harpy's fine. But I've rewatched that show three or four times. Uh, anytime I'm feeling low, I go on back to Monster Masume. Honestly, if I watch it nowadays, I'd probably be like, this is crap. But God damn, it doesn't hold the place in my heart. Dude, the best ones is Goopy Girl. You're a big Goopy Girl I'm guy? I'm big Goop energy over you got here. The, listen, not, I, not just because not because she's Goopy. Her being mm-hmm. Goopy, I could take her leave. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think I'd prefer not. But <laughs> she's, <laughs> genuinely, I like my women non-gooped. But she's the most monster of them, from what I can see. You've got this like gross, like cow-looking girl with like big cow ears. She's blonde. I'm not gonna show you. I'm just gonna describe. Cow she's got ears. Big, big fuzzy ears coming out of her neck, and her tits. Oh, she's are, a horse. Her t- oh, yeah, she's a her horse. Her tits are huge. Yeah, which is cool. All of them. All of I don't their like. Tits are huge. I don't like the harpy girl because she's too much bird. She's so chicken. See, I don't mind the bird because you got little claws and wings. And I'm like, that's cute. Her whole legs are bird. Uh, th- th- all of the all of their whole legs are bird. None of them have regular legs. That's too much bird. One of their whole legs is the body of a it's spider. Snake. Also, yeah. I see Snake Girl. Well, yeah, she's I, cute. I guess she technically has legs, but it's as a snake. 
Dude, it's Goop Girl. What's her legs look like? Uh, I don't. Uh, does she have legs? I don't know. Oh, dude, Goop. What are you gonna? You gonna Google <gasps> Goop? Yeah, it came up. Goop Girl. Yeah. Masa Masume Goop. Oh yeah. Normal legs. Best I would say girl. Arguably, she's the least monster. This is the best girl. That she's translucent. She has legs. She's great. Her Goopy bits look <laughs> incredible. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's in her. <laughs> Monster Masume. Oh. Oh, yeah. Like, there's, like... He's, it, like, in her goop. They basically simulate sex, like, multiple times. Whoa. Like, it's it's great. Yo, this girl rules. This is the best one. We can watch it. We can do a watch through. Oh, <laughs> my. You better believe your followers would love to see you react to that. Ugh, I've heard of it. I knew I'd heard of it. Oh, People yeah. have recommended it's it great. I'll rewatch it with you. Ugh. We can do it. We'll do a side-by-side -side oh, reaction. God. I would... Uh, should I move to mine? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my anime guilty pleasure, mm. without a doubt, is like an obnoxious dub MC. Like a real fucking like annoying MC voice. Like Asta? In a dub. I don't know Asta's dub. The Black Clover dub, I couldn't get The Black Clover dub is better than the sub. So you're not talking like obnoxious MC. You're just saying like the, the voice the, is bad. Yeah. Like I want like like I love Deku's voice actor. I love Naruto's voice actor. Or actress, rather. Yes. I love Shinra for some reason, because his sucks. Is Shinra sucks? It's so weird and annoying. I, I just don't, I don't watch dub anymore outside of One Piece. I just, if I'm watching, like, it's got to be Shonen, too, though. It's, okay. It can't be, like, I'm not going to watch, like, fucking Food Wars or something in dub. Or I'm not going to watch, I don't like, want to hear what they say in English. I don't like, yeah, I don't like, like, Skate in the Infinity in dub. I'm not going to watch, like, a, like, Your Name in dub. But, like... I love like a gravelly, like grown man or woman bringing their voice down to a crunch mm -hmm. and yelling whatever the power move is. Like I love like like Naruto's voice actors like Rasengan, like yeah, that's destroying fair. their throat with it. I'm trying to think of like it. a bad English dub for like a main character. Um, I, I, JJK dubbed is bad. It's so bad. It's, it's really, really bad. bad. It's but that's not even like, that's what I mean. Like his isn't a fun bad where it's like a unique voice. Like Yuji's isn't fun. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't do like a dub Yuji impression. Okay. Chainsaw Man's is pretty good. I haven't, I don't think I've seen a singular episode of it dubbed. It's good in that it's like unique and not good mm -hmm. like like it's good in no i think i've actually seen one episode and i was like oh this is hot garbage his voice is good in like uh in the way that deku's is good you know it was awful what buddy daddies disagree the dub is awful Huge disagree ray so and kazuki's good. voices in japanese match them perfectly their voice acting in dub is so good kazuki's voice actor kills it really he nails it and it's so He's especially so good when he gets threatening out of nowhere. Like there are <laughs> lines where like they go to the zoo and like some boy is like holding Miri's hand mm -hmm. and Kazuki is just like, this whole place is full of animals. <laughs> and I'm like, that's great. Like, So did you like Blue Locks dub? Yeah, I love it. It's really good. Okay. I, there was that moment the the gaudy the gaudy moment when he like I don't I haven't gotten to that oh <laughs> really it's like he's like he's like he's like oh my god Rin's gonna overtake me like I'm gonna lose and then he's like gaudy and I was like oh, this is why I watch the Japanese that's <laughs> yeah. awful but I do I just love they're so good at the psychotic lines mm -hmm. like I just got to the bit where Chigori just unlocked the ability to run the long red oh, hair yeah, guy yeah, yeah, yeah. He, but he like unlocked. You've unlocked yeah. sprint hold B. Yeah, he un yeah he unlocked like hold down right trigger. Like, yeah. but um, he like was just standing there being like my ACL. I can't tear it again. Yeah, and like just stand there, and then Isagi like kicks the ball to him mm -hmm. to like pass to him, and then he runs up and he like grabs him and he goes move. And I'm like, holy shit! Oh like, god, you're like okay, fine. He's just great. Like I love a dub when they're doing those lines when it's like the like. I get it now. And this is why I'll win. And I'm like, oh, fuck me. That's great. Okay, so that's, okay. I've got it. I've pinned it. So it's not bad dubs. It's like gravelly, deep, yeah. like English like dubs. Gotcha. Light Yagami doing his like, I will be the god of a new world. And I'll like, eat a potato yeah. chip. And you're like, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> like, yeah. I, lo I love the Death Note dub. I think really? It's, it's so fun. It's wild. But it's like, like I said, it's got to be that 
type of voice for that type of anime. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to fucking read Fire Force. Like, get out of here. I want it to be cheesy. That's fair. You know? That's, Fire Force's manga is, is good, but the anime is also, I think that's I one think of, the anime is better than the manga. It's in a Demon Slayer situation yeah. where, like, it's so much better moving. The sound design is too peak in Fire <laughs> Force. Yeah, like. It's the fate thing. It's the fate effect. Why the fuck does fire make a dubstep drop? It like, doesn't. it's so but cool. You better believe yeah. it's better when it does. It's so good. But yeah, that's everything we got this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for checking in for Otaku's Anonymous. Uh, make sure you guys follow the TikTok. It's blowing up, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, Danny's face is doing wonders for us. Follow us on Instagram. We also post all of our TikToks on Reels. Uh, if you have any questions, direct them towards Otaku's Anon on TikTok or Otaku's Anonymous podcast at gmail.com. Or you can ask us questions in real time if you become a YouTube member uh, and you can watch the YouTube live, which is also awesome. Outside of watching the YouTube live, you also get 15% off when we open our merch store uh you get stickers you get emotes all that kind of fun stuff i've been nick also known as nc hammer 23 or the weeb commander daniel i've been danny um i, I love your i love your gun reloads while i, <laughs> while I do my spiel I was in the middle of like six gun yeah reloads. you were just like doing like your rambo <laughs> yeah. cutting people down um i'm danny mata uh also known as danny mata also known as d mata 3 on tiktok also known as d mata on Instagram, Naturally. three T's. Um, yeah, I had a severe stutter when I made that Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we we fixed it. There's no list. There's it's, no now stutter. It's a list. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, that's been me. Cool. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Mwah.